Stream. Welcome to the Zypho Show this Friday evening and how are we all doing? Oh, I'm pumped for tonight. Boy, oh boy, have we got a jam-packed show for you tonight. Something for everyone tonight, I think. And I'm really, really happy what we've got lined up tonight. So, um, first up tonight, in honour of Ben Nichols and what he did last week, he requested I play Target Renegade this week. So I made it the featured game. We're doing a live long play of Target Renegade tonight, and that will keep uh, everyone happy and lots of lovely, nice, nostalgic memories and all that. After Target Renegade, which probably won't take too long, we have a live interview, an exclusive. I've secured it for us on the AM stream with the guys from Dreaming Bit, Tullin and Alberto, who, uh, of course, are the guys behind the stunning... Winner of the CPC Retro Dev 2020 last week. The abduction of Oscar Z. They'll be joining us right in about 50 minutes, 10 o'clock, to talk to us uh, about um, all making the game, their history, and yeah, and more. And answering your guys' questions in the chat as well. Also, after that, we'll be doing more CPC Retro Dev games. The games we didn't get to last time, the semi finalists. And then to finish, it'll be your Amstrad game requests in the chat. So, something for everyone tonight. And uh, I'm really, really happy. Really happy. Been looking forward to this all week. Um, oh, I just seen something come in there. Hang on. It should come in any second. I've also got some... Arnold A. Lampel with the two euros for the super chat bananas in the chat if we can please <laughs> it says hello you guys and also as we went before we went live tonight this, this came through as well oh my goodness Alex look also with the 10 pounds through the super chat that is Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let the bananas rain down for Arnold and Alex. Arnold, good to see you again, my friend, and I hope your retro collection is coming along nice and nice and well. And also, um, Alex, look, thank you so much for the uh, ten pounds there. Thank you, mate. Thank you very, 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 very much. Me and the family really, really appreciate it. So, lots of love to Alex and Arnold in the chat there. Fantastic. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, jam-packed show tonight. Really excited for tonight. And just looking forward to spending time with you guys and girls in the chat, of course, as well. So, let's do the greetings. And let's take the time to welcome each... And every one of you to the chat tonight. First in the chat tonight. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh wow. An old schooler. Andy D. Good to see you again Andy. How have you been? Welcome my friend. Welcome, welcome. How oh, wow. It's been a while. But it's always, always lovely to see you pop in and have a chat with us. Welcome Andy. Next in we've got another OG of the Amstream. Zombie Peaks. Uh, welcome, dude. Welcome. Yes, to say that Target Renegades music is my favourite on the CPC. I love it too, but it's uh, it's Marmite. 
You know how all the tracks, the, the, the channels go out of sync with each other on the music? No one knows if that's intentional or not. One of these days I'm going to find out. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. Then we've, in the next in the chat, we've got the legend, that is Mr. Pete Walker. Good evening, Pete. How are you doing, mate? Looking, just waiting for the am shenanigans as usual. <laughs> Good stuff. Welcome, dude. Actually, I think uh, I might have missed some earlier messages. Because my chat window doesn't scroll up any uh, any further. But I believe that the saboteur sneaked in, did something, and sneaked out again. <laughs> but welcome, saboteur, as well. I remember seeing that, and I'm sure... I think I saw the gaming hamster as well. So say hello again in the, uh, in the chat, chaps, and I'll give you some love. Right, oh. Right, next in the chat tonight is Mrs. Zypho. <laughs> Kate White, thank you, babe, for letting me stream as always. I've been so supportive. Lots of love to Mrs. Zypho in the chat if you can, guys. Next in, we got the lovely, lovely Brian Hooper. Who I believe, have you taken off work tomorrow so you could be here tonight if I read that correctly earlier? But Brian, it's just lovely to have you here, mate. And uh, it's always a pleasure to see your name pop up in the chat, as always. Hope you've been keeping well, matey. Good to see you again, dude. Ah, there he is, the man himself, Mr. Ben Nichols. There you go, Ben. As I said earlier to you, I'm a man of my word. And Target Renegade coming up for you tonight. There you go. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, thank you. Right, uh, next day we've got Mr. Craig Wilson. It says, right, rise from the ashes tonight. You guessed incorrectly, sir. Eh. Oh, well, Craig, never mind, dude. I hope you're well, mate. Good to see you again here, dude. Next day we've got the lead. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next day we've got the legend as well. That is Yellow Belly. Good evening, Yellow Belly. And everyone do remember that Yellow Belly is, of course, streaming on Sunday. Talking about nice nostalgic memories with the lovely Andrea Wyatt, I believe. So, uh, right about 7.30 on Yellow Belly's channel, so make sure you're, you tune in for that on Sunday, guys. Um, it's a great, great stream. Next up, we've got Mr. Mike ZT. Greetings from Germany, my friends. How are you? Guten Abend. I'm doing well, my friends. I'm doing well. I'm excited for tonight. Anthony Reed is here as well, who popped in the chat. At about 11 o'clock this morning when I <laughs> scheduled the stream. Welcome, Anthony, you eager beaver. Welcome, mate. Hope you're doing well, sir. Next in, we've got Lord Respergu. Respergu, good evening, my friend, as well. How are you doing, dude? And thank you for your continued support, as always. And next in, we have Ahoy, Jolly Boy. Jolly Boy, hope you've got your special vodka out for this evening. And what's your, what's your tipple of choice tonight? Welcome, Johnny Boy. Welcome, my friends. And always lovely to see you. See you. Next in, we've got Gorka, the Banana Man. How are you doing, Gorka? Uh, I think you've had a bit of tough time recently, haven't you? Uh, if I remember correctly from Discord. So I hope everything is going okay, my friends. And if you ever need to chat, my DMs are always open. Welcome, Gorka. Good to see you again, my friend. All right, scrolling down, scrolling down. Rob DeLorean roaring into the stream with his gleaming DeLorean. How you doing, Rob? Welcome, my friend. I'm glad to see you got yourself sorted with an Amstrad CPC 464 recently. So, keeping those Amstrads alive. Thank you, my friends, and I hope you're doing all right, sir. Welcome, welcome. Uh, next in, we've got German. <clears throat> Excuse me, frog in my throat tonight. German 78 moshing into the stream. I'm not better than last week. Good to hear, dude. Good to hear. Um, right, you're still employed, but I hope you get it sorted, German. I hope you get it sorted, mate. Uh, my fingers are crossed for you, sir, and other things. Well, so, welcome, my friends. Hopefully, we can take your mind off stuff tonight as well and put, put you in a good place. Let's have a look who's next. Walden Newman. Mr. Walden Newman, how are you doing, matey? Again, always lovely to see you again. Not doing so well in the marbles recently, but you'll get there. You'll get there soon. <laughs> Mazzaro, welcome back for the third week in a row. A new person to the stream. How are you doing, Mazzaro? Uh, oh, you're not at home at the moment. Hopefully you'll get back soon, dude. And then you can come and chill with us. Welcome, my friends. Uh, next in, we've got James Ford from the CPC Fancy. Oh, I've, got my I've still got mine to hand here. Check this out, guys. I know it's flipped in the camera, but this is a magazine. Let's call it a magazine. 
it says it's a fanzine, but it's really, really high quality stuff. The CPC fanzine. I'm going to do a video for my channel on this soon. I did promise last week, but I was busy with CPC retro dev stuff. This is fantastic. CPC fanzine. Go to, I think it's, uh, oh, retrostore.co.uk. The website for that. So guys, make sure you get your hands uh, hands on a copy of that. There is a fantastic article on high tech software, which is better than a lot of articles you see in Retro Gamer. Anyway, moving on, we have CPC Game Reviews Nish. Good to see you again, my friend. How are you doing, sir? <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. I better have a drink, actually. Mm. Nish, good to see you again, my friend. And have you worked out how um, um, Abduction of Oscar Z does its scrolling yet? Because we'll be asking them in a little bit, of course, to find out. I was wondering if you waited it out already. Simon Lodge, good evening, Simon, as well. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> everyone's having a great lockdown, but it is what it is. We'll get through it. Welcome, Simon. I hope you've been coping okay, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Sophie. Is that Sophie Do? Let me know if it is the same Sophie. Welcome, Sophie, and I uh, hope you have a lovely time here on the Amstream. Welcome, welcome. Let me just turn my fan on behind me. I'm getting hot here. Good to see you, and hello to Alchemist, if it's the same Sophie. Um, Dave, David Selvi as well. Welcome, my friends. Good to see you on the Amstream. How have you been keeping, dude? How's your week been? Um, it would be nice to organise an Amstrad event. Yes, Mazzaro. An Amstream meetup. It may happen one day. You never know. You never know. Um, I'd love to do something like that. Ruprim! Good evening, Ruprim. Welcome, my friends. Again, I hope your week's been alright, dude. Uh, with the missing for Avatar still as well. Excellent, excellent. Um... Hey, Ultimate Kitten, welcome as well. And uh, she's roaring there. Wow, the kitten do, 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 does indeed roar. There's a kitten of claws as well. Welcome, Ultimate Kitten. Good to see you again. Um, all right, scrolling through. We've got Mikey Smith here, ladies and gentlemen. Mike, hello, Janie as well. She's with you. Is Janie with you or is she having a little nap at the moment? Welcome, Mikey. And don't forget, you'll have Mikey streaming on Sunday, I believe, after Yellow Belly. So, uh, well, your Sunday evening is sorted, guys. Sorted. Um, Yellow Belly's on YouTube. Uh, Mikey's on Twitch. So, make sure you don't forget them. Um, right, scrolling through. David says, the important thing is to play Final Fight as well. I still watch Zypo's video about the port of Final Fight for five, ten minutes before falling asleep at night. <laughs> oh, you still do that, David. We'll make um, Final Fight a featured game at some point in the future. Someone is working on a remake of that for the Amstrad. Did you know that, David? Someone has redone the graphics and got it running a lot smoother. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Sophie, do it is you because you're asking where where is marbles? <laughs> Welcome, Sophie. Uh, if everyone can tag, so I think this might be your first time here on the Amstream. If everyone could tag Sophie and give her a big hello in the chat, that'd be appreciated. And hello to Alchemist if she's if he's watching as well. All right, scrolling on, scrolling on. Oh, sugar, my chat window just rescrolled itself. Uh, right, I think I know where I am now. And we'll finish with the greetings and get to the first game very, very shortly. Jess Dukes, the Jester is here. Welcome, matey. How are you doing, sir? Hope your family's been safe and well, dude. And all is good with you. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. Manic Panic. Welcome to the stream as well. Good to see you here again. Welcome. How's things with you? And... Mr. Craig Harrison, Craig's bar. How you doing, buddy? Thank you, as always, for your continued support. Much love to the Craigster as well. Welcome, my friends. Welcome. Uh, we've got Melodic Hard Rock Revival. Hello, sir, as well. Good to see you back here again. I hope you've been keeping well. Oh, Andy, you've been a busy bee, have you, Andy? Good to see you back again, Andy D. A lovely face uh, from the early days of the Amstream popping in. Good stuff, good stuff. 
Jimmy Taylor, good evening Jimmy as well. Welcome Jimmy and hello to Jane if she's watching as well. Hope all, all is good with you. The lovely, lovely Jimmy Taylor there. And also the equally lovely Lucas Rainford as well. Good evening Lucas, how are you doing sir? Good to have you here and how's things in Wigan? <laughs> Gordon Blues, a fellow Amsperv. How you doing, Gordon? Welcome as well, buddy. Good to see you again. Good to see you. And uh, <laughs> looking forward to your comments as always. Uh, Mr. Zen Zero, welcome as well. Good to see you, man. Looking forward to some Target Renegade. It's a bit overdone, but we always love a bit of Target Renegade. We're going to try and beat it tonight. It's going to be a live long play. We're going to try and do it. Oh my goodness! Oh Ben! Oh Ben, you really didn't have to, my friend. Oh. I've had a good week, so I'm splitting the profit. Oh, holy crap! Holy crap! Where's my dancing sugars and fireworks? Bloody hell! Why, why is it not going off? Ben Nichols with the £40 donation. Holy crap. Let's see the bananas, of course, first. Ben, I, I don't know what to say, mate. Thank you. After last week as well. Holy crap. Thank you, Ben. Thank you. Thank you very, very, very much, mate. Wow. <laughs> I, I'm lost for words, dude. I'm, I'm totally lost for words. Thank you, my friend. I won't do the usual thing of like, you sure you want to change your mind or refund you tomorrow? Ben, you know what to do if you want to, but thank you very, very, very much. The chat's gone nuts there, bananas. Fantastic. Thank you, Ben. Well, Target Renegade is for you, sir. It's for you. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Wow. All right. I better crack Ben. I better crack on the greeting so we can get to gaming and stuff. Um. Right. Where did I get to? Sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Thank you again, Ben. Wow. Hordak83. Welcome. Good to see you. Another OG of the Am stream as well. Welcome, Hordak. How's it going, my friend? He's actually got the final fight avatar there, David, as well. Nice. Nice. And uh, how you doing, buddy? Zypho is my namesake. Good evening as well, dude. How have you been? How have you been, sir? Welcome, welcome. And Yasiek is here, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Yasiek. And welcome to the stream, my friend. Oh, Scotty Jim. Welcome to the Am stream. It says, hi. Good to be here for the first time. Have uh, watched many of your videos. Great work, my first feature. And still love it. Wow. Okay, Scotty. Thank you so much. Um, can everyone tag Scotty and give him a big Amstream hello? I've just done it myself there. Let's welcome new people to the stream and make them feel very, very welcome here. Scotty, great to have you here. Welcome, and I hope you have a good time here tonight. Um, T Dog135, welcome to the stream all the way from Glorious America as well. This best live show ever. I don't know about that. I'm <laughs> I'm no Doctor Disrespect or anything, but thank you, T Dog. That's very kind of you. Welcome to this. Welcome to the stream, Johnny Boy. Thanks for that top tip. The chat did re indeed rescroll itself in my chat window when I lose my place. <laughs> Good call there. Um, okay, nearly done. I think the greetings. Tactical pirate. Good evening. Welcome, a tactical pirate. A pirate with tactics. Hmm. Sorry, just clean my glasses here. <laughs> okay. Welcome, Tactical Pirate. Good to see you again. I remember you from the previous streams, of course. Welcome, dude. Welcome. Um. It is a great community, Scotty. I'm very, very proud of everyone here. We are a really, really nice community. Oh, we got another new person here tonight. Out of time, limited. Says hi, folks. We're watching. Uh, first time watching live while I assemble a Zager main gear kit. <laughs> nice. Again, welcome. Thank you for How did you find us tonight? Um, if everyone could tag Outer Time Limited and give them a big hello as well. 
I love the name Out of Time from Back to the Future. We actually have Rob DeLorean in the chat tonight who actually owns a DeLorean. So you two can like talk and get to know each other as well, especially. <laughs> um, we've got the lovely Andrea Wyatt here as well. Good evening, Andrea. Uh, I believe you're the guest on Yellow Betty's stream this Sunday. Is that right? If so, good luck. I know you will smash it and it'll be a fantastic time for everyone. Welcome, Andrea. Oh, we have the resident uh, goth here tonight. Uh, Anna Apocalypse Zero. Welcome, welcome. Um, welcome. Hope, you, hope everything's okay there, Anna. But good to see you again, Anna. Love Anna's contributions to the chat, as always. Welcome, Anna. Um, uh, right, okay. We better scroll on through. We've been chatting for quite a while now. Um, Gross Tonton, welcome to the stream as well. Salut and good evening. Welcome, welcome. How, uh, how did you find us tonight? Welcome, my friends. Welcome. Uh, oh, God, my chat's just re scrolled itself again. Where the hell? Oh, there we go. I found out where we are now. All right. If I do miss anyone, please let me know and I'll make sure to greet you again in the chat. Texy88, good evening, Texy. And remember to everyone, check, everyone to check out Texie's YouTube channel. He uploads lots of YouTube videos. Oops, excuse me. Oh, Jess. I actually called you Jester by mistake a couple of times recently. Do you, you like Jester? Jester it is. The Jester is here. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. I, will sh I shall do that from now on, Jester. Yeah, Ben, when lockdown is over, we'll try and do an AMS stream. Um, an AMSCON. AMSCON. The AMS stream AMSCON. Okay, we'll do a little convention, the Amstrad meetup. That would be awesome. Wayne Jordan, good evening, Wayne, as well. <laughs> How you doing, my friend? Me and Wayne have known each other for years in real life, and it's always lovely to see him pop in. Welcome, Wayne, and thanks for your support, as always, did. OJBs as well. Good evening, my friends. Welcome, 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 welcome. Good to see you again, my friends. My God, loads of people. Sorry, Rock to Eleven, another in real life friend from many years ago. How you doing, Rock to Eleven? Good to see you again, buddy. Um, have you seen uh, the abduction of Oscar Z yet, uh, Rock to Eleven? You'll, you will be very impressed if you haven't already. Right, I'm scrolling through the chat fairly quickly now. So if I miss anyone, let me know. Thank you everyone for welcoming Scotty there as well. That is very, very much appreciated. And also, everyone welcome out of time there. That's lovely. Thank you, guys. That's what's important about being a community, that we welcome new people and make them feel very, very welcome here. And Ben Nickel says, uh, Zoya, have you watched Cobra Kai? Yes, yes, I have. I'm still in the 80s, love for the old machine, and such a good memory for me. I don't have Facebook or WhatsApp. As Mr. Lawrence would say, what's a Facebook? Yes, I, I, I binge watched all of both seasons of Cobra Kai and absolutely loved it. And I'm kicking myself for putting it off for so long watching it. Cobra Kai is freaking awesome. Uh, right, I think I've caught up with everyone. So what we'll do then, guys, we'll get to our first game. And then in about half an hour, we're going to have the dreaming bits, guys, coming on for a live interview with us all about their fantastic game. Hopefully, I'll show you a little bit of footage before we start that as well, just in case you haven't seen it yet. All right, time for some Target Renegades. Here we go. Um, let's get the game up and running. a bit that classic target renegade music hopefully the volume levels are right there guys i love this atmospheric music it kind of re it shouldn't suit a beat em up but it really does because it's I don't know, there's something so atmospheric about this music, and it works so well. Bonjour, Sophie! Again, I'm sorry, I don't, uh, I don't parlez vous français very well. <laughs> 
Munch too. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sophie. I'll try and speak a little slower, maybe. That might help. David Jenner, good evening as well. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Good to see you. All the tune, all the music. <coughs> Yeah, that's right, uh, Wayne. Uh, I think from season season two it moved to Netflix. Was it from ne the next season onwards? But yeah, it's, it used to be good on YouTube. I didn't have YouTube Prime, so or pre uh, premium, whatever it's called. So I couldn't watch it. And yes, Mikey, shout out to Monkey Jesus and Clanny if they're watching and lurking. Hello, guys. We love you here, Clanny and Monkey. We're ready whenever you are to pop, uh, see you pop back in the chat, guys. Right. Oh, yes, Mandalorian, as Mrs. Saipo there says there, is fantastic as well. We're about to sit down and start watching the new season. Uh, hopefully, we'll catch an episode this weekend. Right, it's going to define our keys here. Left, right, down. Uh, hit. There we go. Oh, simultaneous two plays. Oh, man, we should have brought Mrs. Zypho down for simultaneous two players on this. Uh, Mazzaro, this is Target Renegade. Thank you, Anthony. Yeah, if you, guys, if you don't mind giving us a like and a thumbs up on the stream, I'd very, very much appreciate it. Oh, yes, where is GP tonight? He's often lurking these days on the Am stream. But usually watching. We'll see if he pops, pops his head up the... Uh, <laughs> pops his head out the parapet. German, totally agree. I reckon the best thing about the Mandalorian is how it goes back to Star Wars roots, a space western, if you were before it came to Skywalker family drama. Yeah. It is a Wild West Star Wars. Yes, indeed. I agree. Some people prefer Renegade. I don't think it's a too controversial one. I've got the t-shirt on tonight. There you go. <laughs> I flip between the two. I change my mind every week. Which one's my favourite? Anyway, let's crack on. Let's see if we can beat Target Renegade. Live long play tonight. In one go, no snapshots, no cheats. The old back kick works really well, of course. Beat him up on the floor there. Honestly, though, the best thing about this game is the uh, oh, is the uh, two simultaneous two-player mode. It is the best two-player beat 'em up on the Amstrad, no question. But is it better in one player than Renegade? I don't know. It does feel like there's slightly more to this than Renegade. But Renegade just has a wonderful charm and look to it. The graphics are slightly better on Renegade, as is the... I think the tunes as well. But this music is so weirdly downbeat. It kind of suits like the grimy, run-down uh, atmosphere of the backgrounds and the graphics and stuff, and the setting. Um, but does anyone know for sure about this music. As you notice, guys, it's all sort of um, out of time with each other, if you know what I mean. It's like there's three channels of music on the Amstrad. Oh. Oops. There's like three channels of music on the Amstrad, and it sounds like the three channels are like slowly going out of sync with each other. And the question is, is that on purpose or not? Does anyone know at all in the chat? Yeah, this was awesome on the Specky as well, Johnny Boy. I can't deny. It's kind of hard to decide which looks better. I think uh, which is better, the Amsterdam the Spectrum version. I will say the graphics are slightly more detailed and high res on the Spectrum, but the Amstrad has much better colours. Hard to say. 
I think I'm gonna go with Amstrad by Whisker and sod OSG there. <laughs> OMG is OSG. Good evening, dude. Welcome, my friends. Alstrix OSG. He's still wrong. <laughs> It's really hard to get the timing right on those bikes and not take oh not take damage. OJB's hello again. I did say hello earlier, I'm sure I did, but welcome my friend. Oh oh I was looking at the chat there. Now it's really important you use this weapon. Not only is it makes the game a lot easier. But you'll notice you'll get a thousand points per hit with the, I think it's an axe here. Uh, and that's very, very important because when you get to 50,000 points, uh, you get a bonus life. Same at 150,000 and 250,000. So you get far, weirdly, you get, there you go, bonus life there. Uh, weirdly, you get far more points for using something that makes the game a lot easier and is easier to use. There we go. Oh. One more hit and he's... Oh! Oh, Gorka! getting some uh, glitch in there. Sorry, I don't know what's going on there. Oh, everything's gone really glitchy. Sorry. Anyway. Gorka, thank you very much for the 464 Icelandic Chroma there. Uh, oh, I spelled bananas wrong. Bananas in the chat for the banana man. He says, Streamlabs has been uh, a poo, a big poo-poo, so no banana fact. Oh, is it? Uh, what was the problem, um, Gorka? But thank you, Gorka. Thank you. Shame we didn't get the banana facts tonight, but no problem at all. Thank you very, very, very much, mate. Thank you. Lost a lot to Gorka, the banana man, in the chat, please, guys. And um, I will check Streamlabs out. If you if you could tell me what the problem was, I'll I'll have a check it. I'll I'll check it out. All right. Let's pause my music there. Thank you again, Gorka. Thank you, my friend. As we should be just about to beat this level. There he goes, dead. Dystopian urban atmosphere. Yes. Yes. Gorka the legend. Thank you for the bananas for Gorka there. Alright, level two. Love the music here. Polter Rogel, good evening. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing, sir? Uh, Arnie, I don't know. I'm just I'm waiting for um, Gorka to tell us in the chat, and I can I can check out what the problem was. No QAOP space. Oh no, no. Come on, we've evolved we've evolved from that to WASD or a good joypad. Oh God, I forgot about the um, the pimp who tries to <laughs> shoot you and ends up usually shooting his own uh, prostitutes. Ha 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 ha! Right. Obviously, I don't condone violence against women here. But it's just a computer game. <laughs> Do you ASD blasphemy? Come on, yellow buddy, get with the times. Oh look, there's a nudie show through here. I want, I want, I want to go in here. I'm not being allowed to. Damn. <laughs> Actually, I'll get in trouble with Mrs. Ifo, so best not. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, Gorka says, yeah, Streamlabs bumps me back from PayPal page before I can type in my password. Uh, then if it's Streamlabs or PayPal, that's been poo poo. Oh, that's weird. Could be a browser cookies, uh, cookies and cash issue. Uh, oh. Ha! <laughs> Speak of the devil, we were just asking after you, GP. Your fave GP with the two pounds through the super chat. Thank you, my friend. I don't know why it's been really glitchy tonight. Thank you, GP. <laughs> bananas in the chat for GP there. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. The bananas rain down for GP. So it's a bit tired, but ha have a good stream. No worries, my friend. No worries. Thank you, GP. Thank you, my friend. And it's always lovely to see you pop in. <laughs> Naughty little GP. All right. Okay. Let's crack on. Pause the music there. Um, I can't figure out what's making glitches happen. Um, I will do a quick test donation in Streamlabs myself shortly. Make sure it's working. Unless Mrs. Zypho, you want to do a quick test one for me, I'll be appreciated. And using the the whip here, actually, I think it's a chain, not a whip. And once you know what you're doing and can handle the weapons well, it's not too hard. Hey, Don Fakakero, good evening. Oh, good goodness. Oh! <laughs> oh, sorry, Claude Reigns, Darren. Thank you, my friend, for the one pounds through the super chat there. Bananas, one more time there for, uh, for Claude. How you doing, mate? Good to see you again, dude. And how's the Amsfong? And are we ever going to see what that looks like? Ooh, excuse me. Thank you, Claude. That's very kind of you, dude. Anna reckons it's a whip. Okay, Anna knows a whips then, clearly. Maybe they are Anthony, who knows, who knows. That's how they got away with it in Final Fight, wasn't it? Where there was a bit of controversy over uh, women being attacked in the game and stuff. But anyway, let's not go too deep into that. Yeah, this may be, I think Ben said it earlier as well. This may be my favourite music in the game on this level. There we go. Gets the phone box at the end. Hey, Jockstrad464, Chris McGillray. He's come off his PS5 for five minutes to be with us tonight. How you doing, Chris? Good to see you again, Jockstrad. Welcome, dude. Gotta get the uh, back kicks in here. I'm gonna have to fly kick this dude. And then beat him up on the floor. Not feeling this version of Renegade. Just Pete Walker. Seems a bit dull. I mean, beat him ups are not to everyone's test taste. Oh my god, how does he keep getting me like that? Back kick should work on this dude. Beat him ups are not to everyone's taste, so it can be a bit. Say me. I, I think I think it's the graphics, the music, and the atmosphere that does a lot for this game. But it also controls fantastically. The controls are absolutely spot on. Oh, God sakes, the controls are absolutely spot on, and the sprites move around really smoothly with some really nice frames of animation. Oops. I've been too long on this stream. Oh, for God's sakes! 
And, but, at, from, oh no! I don't know why I keep getting not, oh, for God's sakes. Oof! Um, but I think from this level onwards, it starts getting quite tough for a lot of people. Will you stop? That's it. Get the get the back kicks in there. Bonus life. Knocked him down. To... I think if you stay on the screen for too long, they start respawning, and you've got to move on. So we've just got to survive until we get the weapon. The back kick does the, the best damage. Just got to be quick with it. There you go. Yeah, they can beat him up on the floor there. It should be the same music, Don. I had this with the 464 and I distinctly remember this music being on the park level. Alright, cool. We've got the weapon. What the hell is this weapon anyway? A club? Why is it blue? I used to think it was one of those, like a, like a giant, remember those uh, cones that were like crisps? Ooh! Got nutted there. I always thought it was like a giant blue one of one of them. It's a metal pipe! Really? Oh! Where did he come from? Did you see that? That sprite came out of nowhere! I've never seen that happen before! What? That happened again! The other thing, Pete, as well, is I'm perhaps looking, I'm perhaps making it look a lot easier than it is when using this weapon. Damn it, see, look, I've got Rex there, I've only got two bits of energy left. You gotta watch out for these army dudes, because they, they can do flying kicks on you. I'm a bit conscious about time running out on this level, actually. You gotta watch the time limit. You can only move forward a screen when there's no more than two enemies. Here we go, we're at the end. Forty-five seconds left. Should be good. Oh, another army dude spawned. There we go. Anyone got a PS5? Says Mazzaro. I'm not bothering, dude. Uh, I'm I'm really happy for anyone that has got one. It's made them very very happy. Uh, I don't. I just don't see at the moment. The benefit of upgrading from a PS4 to one for the for the price, but we'll wait and see. I generally never buy new consoles on their release date anyway. I always wait for the prices to drop if that's the case. And plus, there's all that fuss at the moment of people trying to buy them and having trouble finding them and having a nightmare with. Uh, online companies and delivery companies so yeah I'm alright at the moment now 
this is where enemies start getting a bit tougher. Damn it, another one spawned. Right. Now, those guys, the baseball caps, uh, will always dock if you do a flying kick. And, we, and the only real way to get them is with these back kicks, if you can do it. It took me a long time as a kid to work this, like, out. But once you know, you know, it actually makes this level a lot easier. But essentially, guys, this is the penultimate level, not including the final boss battle. But always just fly kick over them and immediately initiate the back kick. Yeah, that's right, Brian. In the manual, it says these guys are from a Beastie Boys concert and they're not happy. <laughs> And the other thing about the PS5 is like, uh, if I do any modern gaming, it's on PC. We need to, we need to fly kick this doggy. That is the only way to kill the, uh, well, I, I should say stun the dogs. We don't like killing animals in games either. Oh! What? It's really unusual for a second dog to spawn there. I don't think I've ever seen that before. There's usually only one dog. Beastie Boys were overrated, changed my mind. I don't know. Were they? They're some great tunes. I think there are far more bands out there that unjustly get lavish with praise who are really don't deserve of it, de who are not deserving of it, over the Beastie Boys. But sorry, I'm missing quite a bit of the chat there. Obviously, I'm trying to concentrate. This guy's got a brick. By the way, you don't get any points for using the brick, but screw it, we'll use it here. Whee! Look at that, you don't get any score for that. Seems a bit mean. Oh, this should be the last uh, enemy here, I think. Our, our destination is the bar there above. There you go. Wrecked. Woo! Alright, last level. Let's not screw it up. Again, these guys, don't let them get near you. Back kick to knock them down. Fly kick over them. And then beat them up on the floor. Ah, oh, basically you want to punch that guy and get hold of that snooker cue. No! I meant to do the back kick there. No! Wrecked. Yeah, so you don't want them to grab hold of you. Damn it! I got too close to the edge of the screen to get enough distance to get that back kick working. Never mind. Ah! Oh! If you if you punch him a couple of times, he drops a pool cue and then you can nick it. This will make our life so much easier if we can get hold of it, but. Got it! Should be good. I'd really like to do this without losing a life. That'd be great. Hey Chris McGilray, I bet you've been in a few Glasgow pubs like this in your time. <laughs>
Can I do this about losing a life? I've got one tiny bit of energy. Basically one knockdown and I've lost a life. Oh, we've done it! The final boss! Make sure you've got the pool cue. This will make this fight so much easier. Otherwise, he's a, he's a right tough git. Here we go. Yes! There we go! There you go. Target Renegade beaten without losing a life. Live long play. And where's the GG's? <laughs> and I, I don't have time for a second run. But thank you guys. There we go. <laughs> oh, what's making my... Let's quit Discord. Getting some glitches on the stream. Pause that. Pause that. Thank you for the GG's, guys. Thank you. I don't know where Mrs. Zypho's gone. I asked her if she could do a test donation for me. Hang on. Uh, streamlabs.com, Zypho. Let me just test that quickly because we had a problem earlier. Zypho. 1.00. Testing, donate, PayPal. All right, let me just test this quickly, guys, and then we're going to sort out um, doing um, with the live interview with the Dreaming Bits guys is coming up very very shortly. Uh, if you're watching Dreaming Bits, we're going to show a little bit of footage from the Dream. Um, um, Oh, it looks like I can't test my own account. Oh, bloody hell. One second, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm just sorting something out here. my own balance. All right, I'll do it from my card. All right, just doing a test here. There you go. Just so people... Right, it's working. So I don't know what happened with Gork. Gork had his own little issue there, separate. But Okay, there we go. There you go. Just testing. Just testing. There we are. Testing. Hey, no worries, Mrs. Zypho. We know it's working. Will74, good evening as well. Thank you for the bravo there. And Barry Rodewalt as well. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the GGs there as well. Just in time for the live interview. Yeah. All right. We said it, I told them it would be at 10 o'clock. We're at 10.01 now. So I better, I better crack on. So uh, Dreaming Bits, guys, if you're watching, we're just going to get... We're going to show a quick bit of footage from uh, Oscar Z. For those of you that didn't haven't seen the game yet, if so, where have you been? What rocker have you been under? And uh, Dreaming Bits, guys, if you're watching, I'm just going to set up the um, Zoom room now for you, okay? Right. I'll let you, enjoy, you guys enjoy the intro there. Message them. We'll get the Zoom room sorted. Look at this intro. Uh, we'll stop video. And we need the invite link for the Dreaming Bits guys. So, we're going to be having an interview any second now. Oh, there's Alberto. He's, he's there in the chat. Hi, Alberto. Oh, 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 oh. Hello belly! Thank you dude! Testies, testies, swap your belly eye. Uh, thank you yellow belly! We did the test, but thank you my friend, thank you. Oh, but the text-to-speech. 
Misty Fail there. Oh, we've got Misty Sly Fail as well, Testing. I'm sure that's her. Anus of an Ewok donated one pound. Is your infuriating pain in the arse to scream at Virgin? Love you, Dr. Thank you, Mrs. Sipho. And thank you, Yellow Belly. Because you're an infuriating pain in the arse that needs to scream at Virgin. Love you. Yub nub. Well, the text to speech is working, just didn't for Yellow Belly there. It's a bit temperamental. Thank you, thank you, Yellow Belly. And sod off, Mrs. Ifo. So, Alberto, we'll just let these uh, five people in the chat just watch the intro here and uh, have the demo sequence rolling, and we'll get you in. Right. Uh, copy, invite link. Right. Should be it. I'm sending you, uh, you, sending you guys it in Twitter right now. DMs. Right, invite link has been sent, guys. Right, one second. Okay. Oh, they're in the waiting room. Alberto and Tullin, they're in the waiting room. We'll have the Dreaming Bits guys with us in just a second, guys. For an exclusive chat about this game. Just getting my interview questions here ready. There you go. What a beautiful intro. Who hasn't... Uh, just quickly, who here in the chat hasn't seen this game? Yeah. You'll see a, a demo running very, very shortly of it. A live demo. So we'll have a quick watch of that. Just so for anyone who's here tonight hasn't seen this game, this game was the winner of the CPC Retro Dev Game Creation Contest last week. And just look at how gorgeous and smooth and awesome it, that is. This is running, guys, on a stock Amstrad CPC 464. Loaded from tape in all one load into 64k of memory. That is the rules of the competition. There is no 128k, uh, no Dan Danita expansion to get extra data in there and, you know, other tricks or whatever. I think they've been dreaming about it. <laughs> so, uh, Rock to 11, Wayne Jordan. I don't know if you guys have seen this yet, but there you go. But absolutely, absolutely stunning. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the volume down on this. We'll leave this playing in the background while we talk to the guys. Okay. I think it's time we got them in, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Let me get my zoom capture. Right. Zoom meeting. Right. Participants free. Uh, we're going to admit them all. Please welcome, guys, Tullin and Alberto. There we go. Good evening, gentlemen. Hello. Hello. Can you all Good hear evening. me? We can hear you very well. Excellent. Hi, Alberto. Tullin's just joining. Hello. Hi, Tullin. <laughs> Hi. Um, can everyone in the chat hear Alberto and Tullin okay? We'll just make sure everyone can hear you okay. Uh, there's a little bit of delay in the chat, guys, so just bear with us, bear with us. Um, I think what we'll do... Yes, it's a bit low, so we need to turn your volume up. I think we need to probably mute the game volume. Um... Can you just say hello again, guys? And uh, so we can hello, do a volume hola. test. Good evening, everyone. Right. Hello, good evening. There we go. We just pumped your volume up there. Um, sorry, guys. It's a bit of a technical nightmare getting this done. <laughs> We're nearly there. <laughs> no problem. And we'll put the volume down there. All right. That should be good. That should be good. 
And uh, oh, one more thing to do, guys. Just bear with me one more second. Sorry about this. Um, how do I rearrange the windows here? Um, ah, yeah, we'll get to speak of you. That's better. That's better. And we can have a, we'll have a little bit of you. We'll have you within the game while we're talking to you. There we go. Right, so we can start now. Thank you for your patience there. Welcome, Tolin, and welcome, Alberto, to the AM stream. How are you guys doing this evening? We're doing fine. Thank you for inviting us. We are really, yeah, we are thankful for all the attention we are receiving from the media and, and the embarrassingly good comments we are hearing from you. So. <laughs> We are very, very exciting and, and I'm very happy to be here. Thank you very much. Uh, well, a little nervous too, so we are, we are nice. So. You're, you're never nervous, Tulo. You're always calm. Come on. Ah, not always. <laughs> are you having a few beers this evening, Tolin? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure we, that's a, that was a good idea that we did it during the event because probably there were two very young people in the, in the event. And we kept drinking on the webcam, <laughs> but that was that was all Tulin's idea. I have to say, I noticed that I saw that because um, I saw you, Tulin, when I was um, giving my results. I literally saw you <laughs> on your webcam going Way! like this, waving your arms in the air when you got announced as first place. It did make me laugh. We, we were very happy and I feel drunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, that's the way. Okay, so um, yeah. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourselves and your history with the Amstrad. So, Tullin, you go first. Tell us about your history um, and how you got into the Amstrad. I was very young when the Amstrad arrived my my house. Uh, I was like seven or eight years old, and and I started uh, copying. From the from the from the book uh, we had with Amstrad in basic programs and modifying them and I, I couldn't understand almost any, everything anything there but that was my that was my starting point as a developer and and well I was in love with the machine and I was uh, writing software for it until I don't know like 1995 or something like that uh, no no games were created anymore but I was developing for that. That was my uh, my first language. It was a standard from, from C80, so it's my, my beginning. So you started and with what we call in the UK typings. Have yeah. you heard that phrase? Sorry, sorry? Uh, it's called, oh, oh, we'll move on from that, but it was called typing. So you'd buy a magazine, you'd have a listing of a game oh, in the back of a magazine, and you'd type it into uh, your Amstrad and you'd learn from that. No, not using magazines, the the book who, uh, that came with the with the Amstrad itself. Oh, right, it was an actual book. Right, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. And Alberto, how did you? Um, what's your history with the Amstrad? How did you start? And... So I'm a bit older than Tulin, actually. <laughs> so my first computer was a K Casio PB100. Then I started programming on Spectrum. I learned a bit of uh, Assembler language yeah and then i switched to to amstrad i i talked my mother into buying an amstrad <laughs> <laughs> and probably she expected i would become a respectable person and hey here i am now. <laughs> <laughs> well you're certainly respected here <laughs> in the amstrad thank community. you very much <laughs> um excellent so um the first time i came across you guys dreaming bits was with chris odd prelude in the 2017 cpt retro dev and that game blew me away <laughs> how did that game come about and what made you decide to write a game for the cpc retro dev uh, uh, when when i discovered this there was so, such a retro dev it was amazing for me it was wow it exists and and people is writing software for this i want to do this and and then i started looking at, at what happened uh, in previous in previous years and yeah. like a couple of months before the the deadline i 
I contact Alberto. He was a, a partner. Uh, he, I was working with, with him at a bank doing uh, boring things. And <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's the, the real thing. And <laughs> and and I wanted to make something different for the for the for the Amstrad. And I think I did. Uh, uh, Alberto did a lot of crazy things with with the with the environments and and the backgrounds and it was amazing and, and animations of course <laughs> uh, but we had very tiny time to to make things uh, so yeah. that's why it's a little buggy and, and well uh, <laughs> it's very short as yes. you said yeah <laughs> <laughs> well, but, but, but i think it's it's a cool game to, to see because it's like uh, something new and that's what that was what we wanted yeah, that's what really impressed me. It was such a, a quite a inventive and original game on the Amstrad, and uh, it, honestly, I think it was my favourite that year. Um, I really, really, really enjoyed it. But as you said, it was a little bit too short. But was that because the constraints of getting it into sixty four k of memory? And uh, more, more than that, it is the lack of experience. It was our first game in in the Amstrad, in, in a real Amstrad. So uh, oh. it was because I didn't I didn't know how to how to fit everything there. Uh, as you can see, it, it's far different from this game. Uh, we had no menus. We we had only you, you start playing, uh, and as you can see now with this game, we have menus. We have. Uh, you can really find your keys and you have an attract mode you have an ending <laughs> so yeah. more 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 than a lack of experience than a, oh. than a problem of fitting that so had, had you guys made an amstra game before in all your lives is this is was that your first ever amstra game no 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 so when when i started programming on my amstrad i i did create a couple of games i do remember my first one it was a mastermind i uh, uh, yeah. with artificial intelligence uh, being able to play mastermind at different levels of intelligence or yeah. uh, very simple level. Uh, but but I, what I really really loved was um, animating stuff tiny animals or beads or spaceships yeah and, and but I have to say you asked about Chris about the Chris game before um, I have worked on Amstrad on many low resolution devices in my life I, I love uh, Sprite in uh, I love uh, pixel art and all that, but with Tulo, the, the crazy thing is you tell Tulo anything and he says, "Yeah, sure, let's do it." <laughs> like, hey Tulo, can we can we squeeze this animation here and have this transition between falling down and then standing up? Yeah, sure, just give it to me. <laughs> and he never says no, and probably that's why it was great creating art for games. Well, that's, that's, that's great for a graphic artist because normally when I talk to programmers they're always fighting against the graphic artist saying no less less frames of animation take that <laughs> out I can't do it <laughs> there's not enough room so it must be really refreshing working with Tulo who just goes yeah bring it on let's do it <laughs> the thing yeah, is I'm, we, we understand each other because I'm also a programmer and he's also a bit of an artist so Tulo is that right Ah, oh, excellent. And did I hear right earlier? Did you did you two work together at the same place? Is that how you got to know each other? Yep. Wow. So we work in in, in innovation labs in in a, in, a, in a bank, and we, we, I, we I was researching in artificial intelligence, and Tulo was researching in crazy things, right? Tulo. Yeah, crazy things. We cannot talk about that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> secret stuff. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's 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 crazy. What's the chances of two Amstrad programmers and fans working at the same place and then coming together <laughs> and making these wonderful games? That's that that's amazing. That's really really good. <laughs> it was it was a dream. Uh, uh, developing that, that game, developing an Amstrad game was a dream for me since I was a child. So uh, I made it real. So I'm very happy for that. I'm I'm so mm. grateful of of. Uh, of making that, I'm so happy, and um, of course, uh, working with Alberto and and with Gris and Grisor this time it was amazing. Yeah, what a team! Uh, Tulo, had you made an Amstrad game before doing Chris Odd Prelude? No, oh, that, that oh was hang my on, sorry, one second. Sorry. Ah, there's a, someone's just done a donation on the stream. 
I forgot to turn them off. Oops. Pressburg, you thank you for the five pound donation there. It's really enjoyed the interview. Congrats to the developers My of this Lord. awesome game. Congrats though, developers, for this awesome game. Uh, sorry game about that, guys. You might not be able to hear CPC that. For the sure. CPC, uh, okay. thank, thank you very, very much, Raspergu. Uh, guys, what I'm going to just do is I'm going to turn off alerts on the uh, stream just for now. If anyone does do like a donation or like a subscription, I will replay them all after the interview so we don't get interrupted. But thank you, Raspergu. Thank you very, very, very much, mate. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. So, Tulo, uh, coming back to you again. Um, had you, uh, sorry, yeah, my question was had you made any uh, Amstrad games for uh, Chris on Prelude? That we may know of. Uh, Chris was my, my first game because I, I was too, uh, too too little guy when when I had my Amstrad, so it was impossible for me to to make anything serious. Uh, from them, I've been making some some games. Even even I have one published, uh, but it is not on, online anymore. Uh, for uh, in the App Store, a very cool game. Uh, I will oh. try to update it. I will try to update it because uh, it, it was very old and we didn't update the. Uh, the, know, the things you have to update to, to adapt to the new operating systems. Oh, to keep uh, it in the app store, gotcha, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, but, but it's very cool, uh, you will like it. Uh, made some some little things, but this was my, my, my first Amstrad game, and it was, as I told you, it was a dream made, made, made reality. It was amazing <laughs> making oh, right. That's awesome. I mean, it's, it, it, to, yeah. what, to, to me, obviously never heard of you guys before. You guys just came out of nowhere and dropped games like Chris on Prelude on us and then Abduction of Oscar Z and that just blows my mind. It's like, where have you been all these years? <laughs> but obviously you've been very, very busy with other things and uh, yeah, yeah, Alberto has been doing his mastermind games. And the so, yep. right. Um, but yeah, um, I think uh, Chris on Prelude, I think he got fourth place in the end, didn't it, that year? And, uh, yeah, and I, I think it would have won if it was if it was any other year. That probably would have won if it wasn't for games like Barber's Palace and uh, the Foundation Two and C and G Soft in that. So you had very tough competition that year. But, Incredibly yeah. good games year over year on the, in this contest is very um, inspiring and challenging. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, and just quickly, there, there's two other credits I, I saw online for Chris or Prelude. A guy called Tanus and Gabby. Um, who are they, and what did they what did they do to help? There are people working with us in the in the bank. One of them, and the other one was working with us in the bank. Uh, th they were the people who who introduced me in the Amstrad world again. Uh, they told me you have to ah. see it. You can install CPC Teleras, and and they installed in my computer <laughs> that software. Oh, uh, they're responsible then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In some way, yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Um, so anyway, right, come on. We all want to talk about we all want to talk about this. So on to the winner of CPC Retro Dev 2020 by a landslide. And no one's going to demand a recount and election fraud here with, with the abduction of Austin G uh, first place. So first of all, how did you come up with the idea for this game? And was it always planned to be like kind of a forced scrolling platformer? Oh, so you talk about the dynamics. What was your idea that the, the dynamics were? Yeah, the, uh, it, it was like uh, I was thinking on on the on the Chrome uh, dinosaur game when you don't have internet. Oh yeah, where, where you have to jump and and slide. Uh, but, but but I was thinking in the in uh, in the universe of uh, which uh, Adventure Time. Okay. I don't know why I, I was I was watching that that oh, that the show. The, the, yeah, they got to the TV oh, yeah. show. Yes, the TV show at the time, and 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 it was like, wow, I, I like this universe, and, and then I told I told Alberto, and and we changed everything because we wanted to make something very 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 ourselves, yeah. and and the, then we started thinking on on an alien planet because of the of the ground of, of the form of the 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 wave of the ground. Uh, I I didn't want to make a tiled game, so I wanted to make it more <laughs> organic. Um, More fluid, and yeah. that's that, yeah, and that's why I started making the engine to support that. And then talking to Alberto, he was like, "This looks like an alien planet." Uh, he made something similar before, and it was 
oh, we can go, we can go uh, by this way. And then everything starts moving. So Alberto, tell us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> over to you, Alberto. <laughs> So all Udo had, uh, Tulo had to tell me is, uh, don't worry, it won't be a tiled game. And I started imagining all this landscape, crazy things like, and would ask, could we have these plants in the foreground and then in the background and have stars and planets and maybe also animals who jump and maybe an alien. How about we steal the spaceship from the alien, <laughs> Tulo? And guess what he said? Yeah, sure, let's try <laughs> that. And on top of that, he said, I, by the way, I heard you can draw comics more or less. Yeah, okay, we could try that for the intro. And how about we do some uh, fade in and fade out, f uh, fade in black and yeah, sure, let's try it. And basically we tried everything, all the ideas that came to our mind. And wow. we, we left a couple, like and I have behind me one of the animals I was working on wow. for weeks and weeks because Ulo, uh, Tulo had this vision there's this shy animal I want to have jumping and when you get close to it it collapses into a, a cup or something and weeks later it didn't fit in the memory so we had oh. to throw it away <laughs> well, <laughs> well we'll come back to that later actually I've got a question about that <laughs> Well, that's a shame. But well, I, I, I just love the enthusiasm of you guys. You guys seem to work really well together. It's lovely to see. Yeah. And it's great having I, a yeah a programmer just goes, "What the hell? Let's try this. Let's do it." <laughs> I guess I guess the the intention is always too low. That's for yourself, but the intention is always to try new things. We don't look at what everyone else is doing in Amstrad or in, in a mobile phone. We just push our boundaries of what we thought a normal game would be and try something different. Yes, so, uh, you've come up with a very uh, original and fresh game, Amstrad, so we're very thankful of that. So, Tullin, I'm going to come to you. Um, we're going to get a bit geeky and technical here. So, talking of the one thing that stands out as well, not just the beautiful graphics from Alberto, is like this like really awesome and smooth scrolling you've got full screen into the borders how on earth did you manage uh to get it scrolling so smoothly in 64k of memory <laughs> what was the coding techniques here and is it the um r3 register horizontal sync trick or is it something else tell us all uh, <laughs> okay it, it's it's fake it's not a uh, full screen uh, in fact there, there is a lot of borders but you cannot see them because they're in the same color as the background. Ah. So we played with that. Uh, and instead of 32K of, of video memory, uh, we're using just 20, 16K for the, for the, for the main mode. That, that is the same that, that we are using in Chris. Yeah. It's like, I don't know, uh, very, 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 very width and, and 160 pixels. And then 4K for, for, the, for the mining map and for the H L H U D. I see. Uh, the screen is kind of split into sections, right? Yeah, yeah and, and, and you cannot see it, but there is a lot of border. Uh, it's a matter of faking and uh, playing with your mind. <laughs> and the scroll is a byte by byte, not okay. pixel by pixel. I'm using register. I don't remember register three and oh, three, whatever yeah. uh, uh, to make to make it byte byte alignment. And and it's twenty five frames per second. Wow. Uh, wow. Uh, Amsterdam is fifty, and one frame is to schedule everything for for the for the rendering, and the, the other one is only rendering. Uh, because the the more important thing here, the the the, the trickiest part, is the the scheduler because we uh, we don't have any any double buffer. So yeah. it's only one buffer, so we have to oh. fight with the oh. with the scan line, yeah. and and we have to, to write everything from top to down, and and taking care of, of the skyline and uh, the scan line and not drawing uh, things that are not moving or not clearing them if, if it's not needed. Uh, the fastest thing you can do here is not doing anything, and there are times when when you have more than ten entities in, on a screen moving. Yes. Yeah. And yeah works because they they in some way share share the the, the time they are using um, and at the end it's all fake <laughs> uh, you are not 
you are not you are not drawing everything every time it's only the, the little things you have to draw those are the things that are wrong wrong and that was very tricky well uh, I was say, that's not easy to do uh, yeah no, yeah no 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 it's very hard in, in fact uh, i thought a lot of moments it was impossible and and it was but i have to try i have to do it and <laughs> at the end as you can see i think we did you did you achieved it i mean fakery or not what everyone is seeing right now on the stream and stuff is like it looks full screen silky smooth scrolling uh with, but like as well you've got so much animations on the go there as well um I, 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 my tiny mind can't comprehend how you managed it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, about the animations, uh, one thing I wanted to, I, w I wanted to manage is, is you the player feeling you are playing with an animated character. Yeah. So uh, it's like a cartoon. Uh, when you jump, you don't jump in that moment. You have to wait to it, to to make the the pre jump and then yes. jumping. And yeah. It's very important for me because I wanted to respect every frame Alberto gave me. Oh, I agree. That's fantastic. Um, Alberto, uh, even if, for yourself as well of the graphics. I mean, we've, we've have a, we have an amazing technical achievement here with Tullin and his coding here, but everyone still talks about the graphics being absolutely stunning and beautiful. How much fun is it playing with the CPC's palette and... Uh, getting these wonderful graphics on the screen. It was a lot of fun. I, it was many years ago that I had done my last uh, graphic in, on Amstrad. So when, when Tulo, Tulin and I started to talk about the game, I, I was not so sure I would manage to, um, to convey the vision he had for the game, something magical, something different, something fresh. But as somebody told me, uh, it was a matter of playing selecting the right colors and the right contrast. And I had, to, I had to give up on many techniques I had accumulated over the years, La, uh, like uh -huh. um, dithyrin or other gra simulating gradients, because they yes, I know you mean, yeah. didn't quite work. I tried everything. And actually, some people told me, your graphics for, for Chris and for uh, this game look a bit too flat. It's on purpose, because I tried um, I tried Dithyrin and other gradients, and it quite it looked too um, I don't know, crashy, yes. noisy. Um, and then I, when we just switched to a flat colors, fresh animations, and focused on the characters' uh, body language, like when he is di dying, he goes uh, legs up, or he reacts with his or the alien will bang on his spaceship when he's angry. Yeah, I love when that. You focus yeah. on the. Yeah. yeah, when you focus on that, the game all of a sudden get, gets alive. I think I, um, I, I, I agree with you, Alberto. Um, whoever thinks that you should have div, uh, more divring in there, I, I, I don't agree at all. As, as Tulo's explaining, he, he had a vision for like a, a real-life cartoon you know, on yeah. your Amstrad, and you have achieved that. In fact, actually, it's funny you mention it. At the moment, I'm doing testing on a new Amstrad game that's coming out very, very soon. And the, I'm talking to the graphics artist at the moment, and he has used Divering everywhere, and it just doesn't work. It, it, it hurts your eyes after a while, and it, it's, it's finding that balance every time, isn't it? And I, I, I think you've gone the right path here. I think it just it's so it, it's bold, it stands out, and everyone loves everyone I spoke to loves the graphics. So I think you've done the right thing here, and uh, it's certainly got that cartoon feel. Thank you. It's hard to tell because on arts, uh, each person has a different opinion. You can never tell in a dogmatic way, hey, this is good, this is bad, but you have to try things till something just clicks. Yeah. And, I mean, did you have a background in art already, Alberto? Like, did you, did you go to art school or have you been drawing comics and paintings or...? <laughs> no, no, I follow, I follow someone. I've been creating characters in the industry for like 30 years or something. Right, <laughs> but right. I. Sorry, I'm I don't know today. your history. Sorry, apologies. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, um, I learned from the masters. I somebody told me buy a good book from Walt Disney, and uh, he told me copy everything you see. <laughs> that was probably the best, the best advice somebody ever gave me to learn art and um, how you stand up when you are sad, when you are 
happy when you are angry, body language, face, sure. all the other stuff. Yeah. Start with the Walt Disney book. Gotcha. Top tip for artists out there, budding artists in the chat. So listen to Alberto. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I mean, uh, next question. I mean, the one thing that strikes me, guys, is the gameplay balance and difficulty is just right. It's never too unfair. It's never too frustrating. And it's not often you get a technically brilliantly coded game with brilliant gameplay. So how much design and testing went into getting like, the gameplay feel right and the controls? Zulo, take it to you. Well that's interesting. Uh, I, I like I like playing with 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 minds. Uh, when you're playing, I, I want you to, to feel things. Uh, I want you to, to learn. For example, there is no no lives here. Uh, I yeah. I don't think lives would help to to make you improve playing this game. Uh, in other games, it's completely okay. But I, I didn't want to to have lives, and I wanted I wanted the the, the player to to learn by, by himself. Uh, uh, the first level, you don't need to to master. Uh, Jump, uh, the three jumps or the three slides you have. Mm -hmm. It's just you jump, you slide, and, and you can you can you can do it by yourself, and you get the reward of having of rescuing the, the animal. And then uh, I start adding more more things to the game, to the gameplay. Uh, and but but I don't uh, I don't punish you if you don't do it well. It's like mm -hmm. you can retry. And every time there is a there is a a breakpoint, you can end the game from the breakpoint. Uh, and, and, and that was that was a little hard to, to make it, but but that was very clear in my mind. Uh, talking about the testing, yeah, there is no testing at this game. Uh, I wanted okay. I wanted to make, to make everything by my own, and I wanted to uh, to make the player feel that. And I thought that, that was very crazy for me, but I, I thought that making real beta testing could harm that feeling. Right. This is a personal vision you have here. Yeah, like a musician, yeah. almost. Yeah, it's it's very crazy, but but but, but I thought I, I think I, I know that's wrong. Don't do this at home, please. <laughs> but, but but I wanted to 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 make my uh, uh, to make the gameplay being in that way. Uh, I I didn't want to make the things everyone is doing, like having lives or uh, or punishing you if you don't 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 make it. Wrong, don't make it right or something like that. And and I try to to, to explain everything to the player yeah. without telling. For example, when, when the when the alien uh, arrives before you to the to the animal, you see he's arriving before and you say, "Oh, this is a race." And and, and then and then he, 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 it makes a click in, in his mind. So that's yes. what I try. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, think I think I think at the end I think you. Did the right thing, Tilo. Uh, if you remember, I was judging uh, engagement, fun, and playability uh, <laughs> uh, on the panel for CPC Retro Dev, and I I think you nailed it. I think you did the right thing there, and I just loved it. I just wanted to have more and more goes. It never got frustrating for me. There are some other games in the competition, for example, that were technically brilliant. But were really frustrating to play and again use the life system like you said and stuff like that and i think like you've got yeah. the gameplay balance just right and that's why it's so up there and yeah that, that's what, what i tried so thank you very much for for appreciating i know a bunch of people don't like al at all the gameplay <laughs> but well uh, like you everyone, cannot... not everyone can like <laughs> everything <laughs> yeah of course so but, but that, that, was, that was what i tried it's Little crazy, but uh, that's the thing I wanted, and and it doesn't mind how good it can it can be technically talking. Uh, it has to be funny. Yes. To to play. Exactly. It all comes but back down. There is a balance. The right. one main thing is the game fun to play. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you got it. So I mean, I did a review of your game for you uh, for my channel uh, on Monday, and I gave it a score of nine and a half out of ten. It, right? That's a, probably one of the highest scores I've given a game. I would give this game, right, a 10 out of 10, Tulo, if you could add some more levels to the game. Are we going to see an updated version with more levels? Because that is the only criticism. It doesn't take too long to complete and maybe a little bit too easy. That's the only I, I think. I think 
I think we are in we're in 2020 and games are not anymore like they were when we were young. So I think a 15 minutes game it's a pretty good time game for, for an abstract game because you, you don't you don't you don't think of playing a couple of hours to the Amstrad uh, because we're I do. And we are <laughs> You do <laughs> I went on an Amstrad <laughs> I can everyone. make a shy, shy formation. Uh, 128k uh, of shy formation. Okay, I, I can do it. Yay! Uh, and, and that's why you brought us here tonight. To I prove knew it. you, yes! <laughs> Put you on the spot and demand another, another 10 levels. <laughs> uh, that could be done. Uh, yeah, we, we can make some levels for you uh, to, to play uh, in your channel. And no, for everyone, for everyone. <laughs> oh, maybe uh, uh, that, that won't be the the game. Uh, we 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 don't want to change a lot of things. Uh, we're we're thinking in in making a, a release of the game, a new release. Uh, but we we don't want to change too much things because uh, we think uh, what we delivered in the contest is, is the game. Um, we're very sure. happy with that. And, okay, and, yeah, I can understand that. Yeah, yeah. But, but of course, we, uh, I can make something for you. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> not just for me, for everyone. I think we... Uh, he, 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 always, he always says yes to a good idea. He always says yes. <laughs> yes. It's crazy. I, t I tell you this, though. If you did, you, I mean, if you went to one of those companies, there's quite a few of them that make physical copies of the games. I guarantee you, you'd sell quite a lot on the Amstrad scene. I think everyone here would be buying a copy. We're thinking of that. Uh, and ah. I don't know how, how secret it is, but yeah, we're thinking of that and we are making... Ooh, it's totally cool secret. The whole, the, totally secret, Tulo. Nobody's listening, man. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I can tell you. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're making things. And um, I think it, it, it will be a very good uh, physical edition of the game with some extras and, well, and cool things. Oh, that's all we wanted to hear. That's all we wanted to hear. You can see, leave it there. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so lucky forward to that. Right. Okay. Um. So, guys, a uh, question to both of you. Um. We're gonna ask you a couple more questions, and then we'll throw some questions over to the chat. Uh. But what are your plans for the future? Are you going to be working on any new Amstrad games, and will you be taking part in CPC Retro Dev again in the future? It's hard to tell. Uh, some somebody I respect a lot told me leave it at the top. If you get to the top and leave it, and do something something else, something probably more difficult. I don't know. Uh, we sure have a lot of ideas, Tulo. Uh, like twenty five, mm. I counted once. So we, yeah, it, I, I, I have some ideas, but but I'm not sure if. if... If we could get the time for that, and, yeah. and maybe not talking about Amstrad, why not? <gasps> not Nintendo, of course, of, of course, not Nintendo. <laughs> we are not. <laughs> <sure>. <laughs> but well, we will talk next year, maybe, and and, and see what happens. Yeah, because you've got to do something that you enjoy and that you get passionate about. You know, um, you can't spend your whole life making Amstrad games. I can understand that, but. Um... We're, we're looking for the third game in the trilogy from Dreaming Bits on the Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd be very happy making a, a third game, but uh, it would be very hard because uh, this is very a very good game and we'd like to make it better. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You have to Maybe do a yourself. different genre. Maybe do a... Yeah, of course. Like, the, the Amster doesn't have a decent football game. Well, CPC Soccer is very, very good. That came out. Code is a football game. We need one, or a, a new beat 'em up, or something different. Yeah. I think it's for a football game. You re you need really really good AI. Yes. Because you have all these twenty two guys there, and they cannot just be moving left, right, up, down in a clumsy way. They really need to be fun, not like Cristiano Ronaldo, but at least fun. <laughs> and that's easy to say, hard to. Oh achieve. yes, indeed. Indeed. Um, and just quickly then, uh, what are your other favourite games from like the CPC Retro Dev or the Amstrad homebrew scene over the last few years? Does anything stand out for you guys that you really, really enjoyed? Uh, of course, Baba's Palace. 
was amazing yeah. because it, it, it was very well balanced and and you you learn while you play i really liked it and it, it didn't like like an abstract game at all, at all but it was very funny and of course all the all the games that that reached the first places uh, i liked them very much yeah of course <laughs> no doubt sure is there anything that them. stands out to you alberto that you've seen like i like i like the the style in sorcerers and i yeah. was had expectations on the promotion i thought it would be a different game and i initially liked a lot the the graphic approach uh, probably they didn't quite get all of the, the juice from the Amstrad in this edition, but probably if the guys had had more time, uh, we would have seen something. Yeah, uh, I really more enjoyed promotion. Yeah, yes. Great. Yeah, I was very surprised by the by the game. Yeah, <laughs> Carting Garden. Carting Garden was a surprise to me visually. Carting Garden. Yeah, it was very really cool too. Yeah, yeah, that was really good. It's better than the the official Super Sprint conversion, which it's based off. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So and, it, it, sorry. each game surprises give you shows you something that you wouldn't expect. You can learn really, really, really from every single game in the contest. Indeed, yeah. And do you have a favorite game from the Amstrad's commercial life back in the eighties and early nineties? Is there one that stands out from that for you guys? Okay, by my side, uh, of course, Navy Moves, for example. I think it's ah. a great, great game. Yeah, and um, Astro Marine Corps because of the music. I think that's the best music I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> yeah, that's a great tune. Great game as well. <laughs> Alberto, that's why, uh, sorry, go. Sorry, too late. Sorry. That's why I I, I talked to to cousin, the, to cousin Antonio in the first uh, increase of, of prelude to make the music for my game. It was a dream made true because of him being yes. there. Because it was a, Big fan of him. Oh, fantastic! And Alberto, do you have a favorite Amstrad game from the uh, commercial days, the eighties and the nineties? I, I, I was I was not a loyal player. I enjoyed games for the um, story, the graphics, and the technology, and I was not willing to invest two hundred hours if they were not properly balanced to get to the end. <laughs> so I, I I did love Night Lore. I I was it's the first time I saw a character making progress in a scenario in an isometric perspective yeah and um, i could see the character going under the arcs the, the doors and the, the, the transparency of the sprite really shocked me and when all of a sudden the character became a wolf when the the, the moon was rising and <laughs> engaged in the story of this what's this guy doing what's going on with in his mind I do remember that one. I spent many hours and, and I didn't finish it. So it's not a great <laughs> well, that's a fantastic choice. Yeah, from Ultimate Play the Game, and they became rare and obviously went on to huge things over the years as well. So, yeah, that's great. And lastly, guys, what? just my last question for you. Uh, there are people in the chat watching, if you've got any questions, please ask them now and I'll ask them quickly before they have to go. But um, what's your feelings on the Amstrad? community here in 2020 because you guys are now like you're a big fish in a small pond you know i think if you went and did a commodore 64 game next you know there's a lot of there's a lot of commodore new commodore 64 games coming out but here in the amateur community there's a lot of people here watching tonight that like hero worshipping you for oscar z and things like that how do you feel about the amateur community too low, too low I first. Think yeah, I think it's amazing, and, and and I think it's improving year year by year. Uh, for example, this year the students made a brilliant work. Um, I think because because they have more more information because of the last years. Yes. Um, yeah, and and it's improving and making things like like Oscar or, or Sorcerers or or that, or that kind of games that are some kind of different games. I think it's. It is making improve all the community, and, and we are only a, a bunch of people, and we all know each other. Um, it's very nice being part of this. It's a lovely community, yes. yes. Yeah. Alberto, what's your thoughts? Well, as for me, uh, I think somebody asked me something like that during the session, and I said, "We are here for the money, of course." <laughs> not, you're not, <laughs> you're not going to make a killing. <laughs> we're not going to make a killing, and not going to get 
sex Rich. and drugs and rock and roll out of this is <laughs> it's, uh, it's out of um, romanticism uh, i just love getting back to my old machine the one i fell in love with and applying stuff i've been learning over the years in from many different professionals i've worked with in in the industry and out of the industry and and trying new ideas just for fun the community the, the reception from the community to be honest with you i didn't expect such a warm reception and i i was impressed when i got back to uh, tulo actually got, got me it's, it's tulo's fault everything is tulo's fault actually as you <laughs> blame tulo <laughs> yeah and i was i was impressed by the, um, the the spirit the international spirit people from france from russia from poland from portugal connecting and exchanging ideas so yeah, you're right it's a small community but hey we are not here for the money it was as it was a joke and we are here for fun if it was, if it's fun we keep doing it if it's not we stop doing it it's fun that's and that's why i make a point of trying to uh, interview people like you alberto and you tulo bring you on like a live stream here you know to give you guys um well show some love for the people for the hard work that people do and you know, I think like in other communities, larger communities, Commodore 64, Amiga or Spectrum, it's hard to stand out and be respected and shown some love. So that's my that's my goal to bring you on the AM stream here. You know, we've had over 100 people watching. There'll be uh, over a thousand will watch this interview by, you know, in a few days time. To give you guys a bit of spotlight and a bit of love. And you are loved in this community now. Dreaming bits. <laughs> So thank you very, very much for coming on and having a chat with us. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Just I'm going to have a look at the chat now and just get some questions for you. But thank you, guys. Thanks to you, and, and thanks for your patience listening to us. As you may have noticed, English is not our mother language. So <laughs> thanks for your patience. No, no, your English is fantastic. Honestly, trust me, guys. You know, <laughs> I can understand everything you said, so thank you. Um... Right, questions are coming in. Um, I think we've sort of asked this already of you guys. This is a is there a, a Nova Bug asks? Hi, Nova Bug. He was on the panel, of course, as well, judging uh, in the CPC retro. He asks, is there, is there a possible sequel for the future of Oscar Z? I think you hinted you you have, you have ideas. You have ideas, right? We have ideas about everything. So the, the, the story part would come from my side. So the, so the, the good thing is I shared a couple of ideas to, with, with Tulo, what could happen to Oscar once he... Because if you realize, Oscar gets back to Earth with a spaceship. Ah! And he's a small, ki and he's a small kid, right? Living in a small city. And the bad thing, that's a good thing, the bad thing is that Tulo said, great idea, let's do it. So, I don't know. <laughs> there you go. Um, uh, Brian... Hooper asks, uh, actually, I think we've sort of asked you this, Alberto, already. How did you guys manage to create that fantastic range of colours merging so well? But yeah, it's a good point, actually, because the Amstrad Palette, Alberta, has a really nice mixture of blues, reds, pinks, yes. and greys, doesn't it? And it, it must be quite a dream as a graphic artist. And You're not dealing with the Commodore 64's palette, shall we say? <laughs> Yeah, you you can you need to take advantage of the the assets you get from the from the platform. For example, you, you can learn to use the the gray. The gray is a neutral fifty percent uh, tone. You can use to create a, a, a small shadow in on a face or or give this special um, texture to your hands or something. And you learn if you if you are if you are patient with the platform and try combinations the platform will give you exciting living lively experience i see what you mean albert i'm just looking at the sprite of oscar to to the right of your head there uh, in your background yeah. and i can see i didn't notice before there's the gray just on his face yeah. uh, around his hands and arms and stuff like that i d i didn't notice that before but it it's, it's those subtle course. things isn't it or, or for example, if you have two eyes, one of the eyes could be white and the other eye could be bluish or grayish. And that will trick your eye and make you think that it's in, in 3D, you know, like there's some depth. Yeah. And you can 
you can you can you have all that there the platform is giving you all that just be patient if you are patient you you can get basically fantastic everything. but you need the talent as well to spot that and do that so well done alberto <laughs> um anna says uh we thank you for the gift to the amsterdam community thank you anna i'm sure they appreciate that message there um yeah. i've got any more questions here quickly um uh ruprim has a question in spanish but i can't uh, understand it i think you might have answered in the <laughs> chat actually alberto <laughs> broken i can spot uh, he, he's he's Cheers. Uh, cheers is what, what, what he says. Um, congratulations. All right. <laughs> Mazzaro <laughs> says... <laughs> oh, Mazzaro oh, says... I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Mazzaro says insulting, you though. both are amazing. Wow. Not only for giving us this game an effort, but also being part of the community. That's lovely. Thank I'm you. sure they'll like that. But by the way, we um, it's the three of us, actually. The music mm, was added a, a special feeling to the game that I, I was not getting at the beginning. I was playing for for weeks on my on my laptop or in my Mac, and it wouldn't feel like dry. And the first version Tulo shared with me, Tulo, you had been hiding me the music for weeks, and the first impression <laughs> I got was like, wow, mind blowing. I wanted right? I wanted to see to see it all together because I wanted you to to impress. That that was uh, that something I like to do. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone was asking earlier in the chat, please, 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 can you make a good version of Outrun for the Amstrad? <laughs> I, I don't oh, think I that's know. legendarily bad conversion, Outrun. Yeah. But Very spend, slow. Yeah. Spend many hours with, with that game. But we will have we will have the, the game from Batman Group that will be the best Outrun version in the world. So Vespertino, yeah. Hopefully they're still yeah. making it, yes. Oh, actually, CPC Game Reviews, um, brilliant website, actually. Um, Nish asks, oh, yes, I was going to ask this as well. He says, I recall Dreaming Bits was working on a sequel to Chris Odd Prelude that was abandoned. What happened to it, and are any plans to resume work on it? Yes, I remember this, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in fact, as you can see in my background, uh, here we have Chris, and there is a guy playing some music. Yeah. And um, there are some mystery blocks and yeah we have plans for that we have some graphics some music for that some very good very 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 good music and Ooh. i think we need we need some time we need to uh, i don't know to 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 sit down uh, and see what's happening uh, because it takes a lot of time to make something like that um, and of course it will be easier after after doing this because uh, i have much more experience with the uh, with the coding yeah but well, we have to think about that um we'd like to make it of course oh yes i'd love to see that as well <laughs> and, th to... and thanks for asking by the way yeah thanks for asking Thank you very much. yeah that was on my list of questions i think i pinged you uh two years ago on twitter again where this is called prelude where's the where's the after the prelude <laughs> <laughs> in fact, in fact the, the game uh was called yeah, the, the next game was called chris symphony for a dream Oh, That's the name of right, right. Yeah. Well, hopefully one day we might see that. Um, Technic asks, uh, please could you ask if they would consider a Plus or GX4000 version that uses the expanded colour palette? Wow. <laughs> That's for you, <laughs> Um I would say, yeah, I'm all for it. Uh, the, the, the thing is, I'm not necessarily keen on um, going more in a higher resolution or necessarily adding more color. I'm not sure the game would get so much better just for adding color. If mm. I had more resources, I would rather probably add an extra character or make some animation be slightly smoother or uh, someone, as you mentioned before, add some special foes or, or enemies or el if there was a great idea uh, of uh, adding a final final level when you return to the earth, yeah. which would require some extra graphics. I, mean, I don't know if we had more memory, more resources. Mm. Probably, I don't know. Tulo, we have not spoken about it yet. But probably that that would be a better choice, right? I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the colors are 
very okay here, uh, but maybe we could change something or, or making the 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 comic uh, more colorful. Maybe that, that could yeah. be helping a little bit or with the transitions between 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 strides where you have that that fade strides and, and fading. Maybe we could do some some kind of tricks there with the CPC plus, but not too much. Uh, but in CPC plus we have 128 Ks, so we can make much more animations and, and more enemies and, and, and more details. He's, thinking, more detail. he's getting excited, I can tell. He's thinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see him, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Uh, last few questions then quickly. Uh, Mighty T asks, "Do they think this game can be any better?" Of course it can. <laughs> well, I think every game could be better. At some you, you, you can yes. spend years and years tweaking and changing and improving. You know, no one's ever going to make the perfect game, are they? <laughs> exactly. There's, there's not a better answer than than that one. Cyborg. Yeah, uh, we're very happy with what we have. Uh, we could add more things. In fact, we had some memory to to fit more things, but we decided to stop in here and, um, and and to make it and to polish it and not adding more things. And, and we're very proud of the product. Very, very, very proud. Even and being and too short. Should, for be. You. should be. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Tainus is in the chat. Your friend. Yeah, he's oh there. <laughs> hey, it's amazing job, guys. Nice to see you again. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> All Thank right. Uh, let me just quickly check the chat and then uh, see if we've got any more good questions. And uh, FC Dead Hog, I'm not asking them that. <laughs> um... Right. Okay. I, I think we've I think we've probably probably covered everything tonight. I mean, we've got a little bit of an exclusive from you guys. We know that you're working. They'll, you guys are thinking of stuff. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> and we may see some sure. more things from you. So, um, thank you very, very, very much, guys, for being a part of this tonight. And thank you for your wonderful games. And. Uh, Hopefully, we might see more of you in the future. Um, do you have anything, any final words to say before we uh, go tonight? I'll leave it. I'll, I'll leave the floor open to you guys. Oh, th thanks everyone for the attention and the heartwarming words and the reception, and to you for inviting us. And again, we'll study a bit more English, so next time we can speak a bit more, a bit more fluently. <laughs> Alberto, your English is better than some English people's English. Trust me. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Tulin, uh, too late. Sorry. <laughs> Any final words? Well, I'd, like to, I'd like to thank you to thank all of you because of, of this. It's been a such a great uh, warming, warming uh, uh, talking, and it, it's amazing being here. And and I'm very happy because sometimes I go through YouTube and uh, and search for the game. And I see more gameplays, and I'm very happy people playing to this and people talking about about that in the comments. Um, it's so amazing. many videos on YouTube of Oscar Z, yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, I really like it, and thank you very really much for inviting us. It's been an honor being here. Oh, the honor is all mine. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very, very much. Um, Good luck in whatever you guys do in the future, and the Amster community thanks you very, very much. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Goodbye, guys. Thank you again. Good night. Bye. 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 Night. <laughs> there we go, guys. There you go. Um... <laughs> Thank you, everyone, uh, for being patient. I hope you enjoyed uh, the interview there, guys. Uh, what a what a great bunch of people. And um, what lovely, lovely people. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, tell you what, let me just um, pause the in-game music here because that's probably in there. <laughs> Get, might start getting on the nerves now. Let me just turn the music down there. Um, yeah, 
Thank you, everyone. Uh, I've, I've turned back on alerts again, so um, I didn't, obviously didn't want that interrupting um, the interview there. But um, I think what we'll do next, guys, is we'll show you a little bit of Chris Odd Prelude, and then we're going to move on to the CPC Retro Dev, excuse me, semi-finalists. Um, oh, thank you, Gollum. He says, Gollum, hey, another Amstrad coder here tonight. He's been working on Ghosts and Goblins. Says it was beautiful. Oh, brilliant! But guys, he says great interview, guys. Your games have been a shot in the arm for the Amstrad scene. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. Uh, hey, Gaz Sloan, Gaz, welcome, my friends, welcome. And of course, I don't know if you got if you got my message in uh, Patreon. Thank you for becoming a Patreon early this week off stream. I'm going to give you the Spanner of Doom next to your name. You're now a moderator here, but um, but welcome, Gaz. How you doing, matey? Uh, Rainer, good evening as well. Um, hope you're doing okay. And Novaborg, welcome, Novaborg. How you doing, matey? Uh, good to see you, man. Let us know in the chat if you're streaming uh, tomorrow evening as well, dude. And I'm sure I saw someone else pop in and I didn't get a chance to say hello to. FC Den Hog as well. Good evening, dude, as well. Welcome, my friend. Technic as well. Good to see you here, my friends. Oh! Timmy Taylor. Thank you for the two pounds for the super chat there. Oh, that's very, very kind of you, Timmy. Thank you, man. Thank you. The fireworks there. We have some bananas in the chat for Jimmy. And the lovely Jane as well. Thank you, Jimmy, mate. Thank you very, very much. It's very kind of you. And um, guys, I really enjoyed doing that interview. There, uh, there were such great guys to speak to. Such enthusiasm and joy. It makes it a joy for me. I can, I can then relax as an interviewer and have a good time. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Thank you, Lewis! The 4 dollars Super Chat is lovely to you. Very talented developers, thank you, Zay. No, thank you, Lewis. Thank you, man. How are you doing, dude? How's things at the arcade club? And we have bananas one more time in the chat there for the lovely, lovely Lewis there. How you doing, matey? Well, I hope that gave you a good insight into the making of the game. We've got some technical details there on how they achieve, like, the scrolling. We've got Alberto's perspective on how he designed the graphics. Hopefully, there's some very, very good tips there, like that little use of, like, greys around the edge of the face of the sprite and stuff like that. That's very clever. Hmm. Sorry, just having a drink there. So what I'm going to do, guys, before we get to the CPC Retro Dev um, finalists, I'm going to pull up their first game they ever made and just got to show you guys what that was like. This was this is Chris Odd Prelude, the game they entered in the 2017 um, CPC Retro Dev that ended up just behind um, Barber's Palace and others. Let me just turn the volume up here. So this was their first game. It literally just jumps you straight in. And what is cool about this game is there's no there's no title screen, there's no instructions. You've got to figure out what you're gonna do. Oh German, good night dude. Good night mate. Washing out the stream, German, lovely to see you again, mate. Hope things pick up for you, dude. Uh, you keep in touch as well. Um and Maud, good evening, Maud, if I didn't say hello to you earlier as well. Magic Knight, good evening as well. Welcome, welcome. So. Uh, oh, no joystick controls. I, my, I think my joystick's crashed. Oh, God. Oh! Thank you. 
Bananas in the chat for Rock Rim as well there. There we go. Thank you, Rob Rim. That is very, very kind of you there. Oh my goodness. Just give me a second, guys. One sec. Let me go. Oh. Wow. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Lewis, Rob Rim. And uh, Jimmy Taylor, of course, and Respergu earlier as well. Thank you. No cry phone. No cry phone. I just, uh, <laughs> I just stretch my legs there quickly. <laughs> so uh, I don't know why my joystick stopped working, but we'll we'll play on. You've fallen through a doorway again. This is all dreamlike. It's like a cartoon. And you need to get to this book, but you can't reach it. And look how lovely the scrolling is here, and animation. I think there's uh, certain things you can do in this game. So, in terms of jumping and platforming, it's very like Prince of Persia. If you hold up when you jump, you can grab onto things and put yourself up on them. What's this? A dog. It looks like it's ready to pound, so we better go quickly here. And we've escaped from the dog. <laughs> chapter 2. Watch your step. So it's like done in chapters. It's like a book itself. Oh. Oops. Now what I did there is I forgot to hold down I think the fire button or up to climb onto that. There we go. Oh. Again, this game doesn't have lives. You just have to replay through the chapter. There we go. Tight jumps there. Chapter 3, The Rain. Quite surreal looking, yes. Now, this is clever. Look at look at where the rain's falling. And you see like raindrops stop in the middle of the uh, sky or the air. That's because they're hitting invisible platforms. You see we've got a dog below us, so we can't go where the dog is. Now this is really clever and ingenious. Just so wait wait for some more rain to come down. Okay. Oh, oh no, okay. I didn't hold the fire button down. Right. So we know that's a safe platform. That's safe. But there's a gap right in front of us. Is this game full screen? Yes, it's a full width. The full width um, none of you is. It needs to rain a bit more, a bit more raindrops. So I can see. Ah, it's a platform there. Come on, Rain, hurry up. <laughs> it's not raining where we want it to rain. We, there. Okay. That's safe. There. Oh, no! Run, 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 run. Oh, what happened there? Maybe that's a, a lethal object. Okay. So that may, may be a bug. I took a bit of a risk there. Sugar. So there's something in the way there we can't get up. hit by the dog there, so don't fall down. A little bit glitchy there, don't worry about that then. Right. Oh, 
Oh no! Oh. oh, that was lucky. We'll just jump all the way. We got. Oh no! Okay, it's not perfect. There are bugs. <laughs> but, this is still awesome. And uh, bear in mind as well, first game. Oh, sugar. I don't think we can get up anyway. A bit of slowdown there, but um, this is an this is an this is amazing for a dem uh, for a debut game. Same bug there. Oh well, oh well. <laughs> okay. But we know the route now, at least, anyway. Oh no! <sighs> Alright, we'll get that. <laughs> Sorry, guys! in the chat. Hi, Tolin. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> ah. Oh, I've broken the game, Tolin. <laughs> Don't care. I'll take it. There we go. Chapter four. <laughs> Could have been snapshot time. <laughs> Again, really gorgeous graphics and animation here. I can't believe you got the smooth scrolling here as well on the go. Chapter five, Over the Rainbow. Ah, you can jump on the clouds. Oh, okay. Oops! I held down the jump for too long there. Great use of the colour palette again. Johnny, are you making fun of how I pronounce palette again? <laughs> no, how dare you! Oh, you see the big jump there. Damn it! That's my bad. Thank God, uh, Tullin asked me. You have like. No limit, oh, no limit on the number of lives here. <laughs> oh, Ooh, we made it! Ah, oh, you have the book. So we now need to go back and get the book. Is there a walrus. Oops. Can't type it how I say it so you keep practicing, you cheeky. <laughs> cheeky git. <laughs> Jolly boy. It has the cheetah man jump. Oh god, that legendary NES game. I know the one you're talking about, T Dog. Oh! Made it. Again, awesome music as well. Blocks around as well, somehow. Any dogs this time? Ah, no bad doggos. That's good. Ooh. Oh no, I've got to do the whole section again. All right, I might leave it after this. Oh. 
Whoa, lucky there. I would like to see Dreaming Bits games on the Nintendo Switch, dude. Wow. That's quite a leap up from the Amstrad, but I'm sure they're more than capable. They're very, very talented guys. Yes, I realised Mrs. Zypho, he was taking the mic, yes. to grab movies I can't remember. Oh, it's the space bar. Look at this. Cyril Gray, good evening, dude. Welcome, welcome. How you doing, Cyril? There you go, problem solved. Bad doggo. Yeah, so this got fourth place in the end in the CPC Retro Dev 2017 competition. That's only because you had Barber's Palace at number one. That proper nation two game from I think was it four megahertz team? Uh, I think it was. And that was a high quality production. Even though I did like it, it was far too difficult. I hated it. <laughs> I loved everything else about the game. And third place was CNG Soft with uh, basket cases, I think. And we got the book. You got the book, end of the first episode. Go. Waiting for episode two, Tolin and Alberto. You teased us, you teased us. <laughs> there you go. And then it will loop around. So, uh, fantastic work, guys. Well done again. Oh, my joystick is working. Well, time, guys, to get move on to the CPC Retro Dev and the games that didn't make it to the finalists. We're going to go on to the semi finalist games. And uh, some of them, I, I, honestly, guys, semi-finalist games I haven't played because I had so little time to judge, and I take my judging very seriously in the CPC Retro Dev, and I wanted to uh, give each of the games like a good amount of time. I didn't play. I haven't played any of the semi-finalist games. I don't know what they look like. I don't know if they're going to load or not. Some of them, I assume will be quite unfinished, broken, maybe quite bad, I don't know. Some of them could be really good, who knows? Or some of them may have a lot of potential. But remember, we may have some of the students watching tonight, potentially. So try and be, try not to be too rude, if we can. All right, but these, these are the games that actually a lot of us look forward to seeing. Because they can be funny as well. All right, um, okay, let's start uh, yeah, well, I don't know if these are ranked in order or not, but, um, oh, crazy Borg, my crazy German friend, thank you for the two pounds there, you just play Ya Ya Ding Dong. <laughs> Hey, ya, ya, ding dong. Hey, thank you, Crazy Borg. Can we have some bananas in the chat for Crazy Borg? Thank you, mate. Thank you, dude. How you doing, my friends? Good to see you again, dude. Hope all is good with you in glorious Germany. Um. Oh, uh. Oh, is Alberto going? Hang on, let me. I missed that. Oh, Alberto, uh, good night, says Big Hug from Spain. Big hug back to you, Alberto. Thank you, mate, for being uh, on the stream. I think everyone really, really loved it and enjoyed it. And, um... Oh, Tullin as well, saying good night, too. Good night, Tullin. Uh, Tullo. Tullo, but how, whatever you prefer. Thank you, um, both of you guys from Dreaming Bits there. You've been fantastic, and uh, it was great chatting to you both. Take care. And good luck in your future projects. 
There we go. And thank you again, uh, Crazy Board, Crazy Board. Right. Right. Let's start with this one. This one is called Estrada. Estrada. Hopefully, this will load. Right. Uh, guys, I'm just going to get a um, can of drink from the fridge. I will be right back with you in 30 seconds. I've just finished the, um, the can. So, just going to get another one. Right back. Thank you guys. I've got me drink. Right, okay. One, story of the game. Let's have a look at that then. From Istradari. Istradari. Istradarian? Okay. Oh my god, there's a lot of text there. I, I don't have time to read all this, I'm afraid. Items of interest. Good lord, there's a lot of items. A key. Right, gotcha. Secret fire in the hands is the reach of all weapons. Strange metal shield. Oh my god. Can I remember all this? About Estradian. Uh, a long, long text there. I, I, I don't think I've got time to uh, read all that. Sorry. About the creator. My name is Konstantinos uh, Katsoris. Resident of Greece at this time of writing this text I've been through my life at this point. Oh, There's his email if anyone wants to email him as well. <laughs> let's, let's run it. Um, so we may end up just not knowing what the hell's going on here. Uh, QASD space. Oh, it's a two to four player game. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, never mind. Items of interest, everything. <laughs> yeah, it <goes. laughs> Alright, press any key to begin. Let's see what this is then. Okay. Oh! Oh, is it a Bomberman clone? Oh! Hang on, what's happened to me? Oh, I'm top right. And I've just blown up player two there, I think. Hey, um, Odie! I saw you in the chat earlier. Odie, are you still here? Odie, of course, did the amazing um, Mega Blasters on the Amstrad. I'm top right there, and I'm dropping bombs on him. That's really clever, actually. I, I, a turn-based Bomberman game made in basic, by the looks of it. Uh, a school probably is a bad thing. I think what the, it doesn't seem like killing anyone here, the bombs, but I think it's a race against time rather than, so like if the bomb blast hits the opponent, they get stunned. And it's probably like a race to get to the, uh, ah! Oh, I'm now back top left. Oh, I collected some Z's, and look, the sprites have all gone to sleep.
Uh oh, what's happened to me? I don't know. I don't know. I think there's, th th I think there's probably too many. Oh god, I got blown up. I think there's probably too many uh, pickups. Uh, oh, I've now walked top right. Okay. <laughs> Why do my bombs like immediately blow up? I don't get it. My bombs immediately blow and kill me. Oh, I've got grenades! Right, 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 watch this, guys. It rolls! Ah, oh, so I've got a rolling grenade now. Actually, this is pretty clever stuff, actually, for basic. Uh, I still get hit, though. Right, okay. Uh, I, I mean, I... Oh, I've got a gun. I bet it's a race to get to the centre here. Ah, uh, you probably need keys or something. Collect the keys to get open these passageways. Um, rubbish. Thank you for the top tip, Johnny Boy. Guys, what do you think of this? I think this is pretty clever stuff, actually. Oh. Hey, Big Joffa. Good evening, dude. Welcome. How are Strix, mate? Welcome, welcome. Odie, yeah, you're there. Still there. This, uh, this looks a bit like the first version of my Mega Plasters 4 player mode. But the game mechanics is different. Yeah. This is this is actually pretty clever. The trouble is, I don't have anyone to play with. <laughs> well, Mrs. Ifo's upstairs, but she's probably in her nighty and stuff, so. Oh, we just picked up a key. Yeah, keys. Open up the passageways there. There's another key. I guess the goal is to get to the centre and collect those jewels. Oof. Wrecked. But yes, yeah, so let's have a test of a joystick. Yeah, look at bottom left corner, guys. Joystick controls that player. But yeah, it's simultaneous. Four player action. I'd say big respect to the programmer. I'm impressed. I honestly am impressed, guys. Um, but the only thing is, it's not going to get much play from me because I need four players or two players. Yeah, exactly, Gaz. You, if this was released in the Amsoft days or something like that, and you had your, your, your brother or your dad sat around playing this with you, this would, this would be really good fun and people would uh, be talking about it still. So you put things in context like that. Oh, I've got that rolling grenade thing again. Ah! Alright, there you go. I don't think we're going to get much further in that, but I think we get the gist of that. So, yeah, what was what was that called? Estra... Estrada. Estrada, or something like that. There you go. I like that. I actually like that. I think that could have been in the finals. Alright, next up is Stroopy from uh, Sakis. Sakis, I think, was in the chat earlier, actually, guys. Sakis, are you still here, mate? That's right, Mike ZT. Uh, CPC Basic at its best. FC Den Hog 2. This is my YouTube account on my uh, iPad from work. So, charging now. No, it's the same person. Got you, FC Den Hog. No worries, dude. Hey, Sakis is in the chat there. Sakis is the coder of this game. Right, excellent. Space for intro. Uh, this game is based on the Stroop effect in the field of perception psychology. In this intro, we present you on the same scientific field, three optical illusion. Uh, one, the Muller liar illusion. At first, you'll see two lines that are of the same length, 
But when we add some more lines, these lines will see, will see no more of the same length, even if they are. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, because the bottom one now seems shorter than the top one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Jimmy, um, I just uh, see your message there. It says, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who have cheered me up. I was a bit down earlier on as my girlfriend Jane had to put a dog to sleep today. Oh. Uh, unfortunately, as he was suffering, he went peacefully. Oh, Jimmy, I'm really sorry to hear that, dude. Um, send, please send my love to Jane, mate. Um, yeah, that's such sad times, dude. Sorry to hear that. Um, but all my love to you guys. Thank you, thank you. Um, oh, sorry, out of time limited. Says night, night, folks. It was a lot of fun to see you next time. Out of time, thank you for joining for the first time tonight as well. I hope you've had a good time here. Take care, good night, and hopefully see you back here next week as well. I'm also on Twitch as well in the week. Find me on Twitch under the same name. But, Jimmy, lots of love to you again. There's no real words of comfort I can offer, but just, um, you're in my thoughts. And, uh, I'm here to take your mind off things. That's the best we can do, so thank you, dude. And, uh, lo all my love to Jane, mate. Alright, we better move on. Uh, to number two, the Ponzo Illusion. At first, you'll see two lines of the same length, but when we add background, these lines seem no more the same length, even if they are. Okay. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. Three colour illusion. The squares in the centre have the same colour, uh, but the green colour on the right appears to be darker, even if it's not. Green colour on the right seems to be darker. Different. Oh, I see, yeah. See, it appears to be a slightly different shade of green. But they are the same green. Right. Right. That's just a little intro there. Um, hey, Mark, whatever. Good evening, dude. Welcome. Welcome, my friends. Good to see you again, Mark. All right. Uh, instructions. Uh, game consists of three levels. Each level consists of six different tests. And each test of ten questions. On each question, you have to select between three answers and find the correct one. In the limited time. Oh, chat! If it's questions and answers, you can get involved with the answers in the chat. Right, so chat, I'm stream chat, I'm relying on you. Test one, find the colour displayed on the word. Word is a neutral form. Same test one for test two, but the word's meaning tries to confuse you. Test three, find the shape displayed on the screen. Alright, we'll just crack on. If your level chooses the only effects time limit, right. Uh, maybe it's one of them against the clock that you really have to do against the clock. Right. If you win uh, a game, so unless a secret code to be shown to you, what is revealed is based on the fact that there's a secret place somewhere in the menu. By entering the secret code, you get 500 lives. Okay. Redefine keys. A, W, D. Oh, space clock. Right, okay, cool. Let's start the game. Name a player one. Lifo. It's simple, you just have to be quick. Right, okay. We'll start with easy. Level one. Yellow, green, red. Oh, oh just answer what, what red it is. Oh, it's red. Uh, red. Yellow. Red. Green, yellow. Oh, it's just all against the clock. Tested reflexes as well. Ah! <laughs> the words change, right? Got you, but the colour stays the same. Right, red. I'm just gonna focus on the colour. Gotcha. Ah! <laughs> I 
see, I see. It nearly got me there, it nearly got me there. Yellow. Uh, green. <laughs> green. Ah! Your brain's straight playing tricks on you. Right. Trapezium is a trapezium, isn't it? Uh, triangle. Square. So chat can't get involved. Sorry, chat. It's against the clock now. Square. Trapezium. Trapezium. Triangle. Trapezium. Triangle. Ha 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 ha. It's trying to put you off by putting the, telling you what it is and isn't in the middle of the square. But yeah, it's right. Oh, this is kind of clever in a way. Yeah. Uh, square. Play on green screen. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, red trapezium. Right, okay. Uh, yellow trapezium. Uh, it's yellow trapezium again. Uh, yellow square. Yeah, this is meddling with my head now. It's messing with my head. Ah! <laughs> oh! Oops. Uh, green square. Uh, green trapezium. Uh, red triangle. Uh, green triangle. Uh, yellow trapezium. <laughs> uh, yellow square. Red trapezium. Right. If I say it out loud, it helps. Green triangle. And then just match it with the uh, your keys and the keyboard. Green square. Got it. Uh, red square. Uh, green triangle. Okay. Uh, red trapezium. Red triangle. Uh, green triangle. <laughs> oh, le level two. Right, let's see what this is then. Uh, red. Um, hey, Sakis, this is basically the same as what we just did, but like uh, slightly tougher. Green, red. Yellow. Red. Yellow. Okay, does there anything different happen on uh, level three? Uh, I just want to show as much as possible of the game. Oh, that's green, isn't it? Right. Yellow. <laughs> Red. Uh, green. What does yellow level three upwards have? Anything different to what we've seen? It's green. One second less than each level. I gotcha. I gotcha. There we go. Green. Red. And then we're back onto that. So there you go, guys. That actually, that's actually quite good fun. It messes, it messes with your head in places. Genuinely, quite good fun, but in a short blast. Well done, Sakis. That may well be. Um, I think that's probably your best product uh, yet. Yeah, you've uh, entered the last two years as well. Entered the competition. Well done, Sakis. Like it. That certainly made me smile uh, and have a laugh there. So, well done, matey. That was Stroopy from Sakis K. He's there in the chat. Next up is a game called Speed, I think. Although its file name has lots... In its directory, it's got lots of different names. Oh, bugger. Oh, okay. It's one of those games that doesn't load from the disc they provided. It happens. Don't worry about it. I mean, it, obviously. Remember, guys, this has been made by the uh, students, so don't expect it to be like things like this to work every time. Uh, let me. I've got. I'm gonna have to load this from tape, believe it or not. But we can warp it. Don't worry. Actually, let's have a listen to the loading noises. Yes. Oh, the loading noises. Right, let's warp it. <laughs> Hang on, let's bit to a thousand percent. Oh, loading picture there. Speed. 
This game is called Speed. Left, right, and up. That's all you've got. Okay. Yeah, I agree, Mame Hayes. It's well executed and a bit different to what was in the finals. Indeed. Well done, Sakis, again. Well done. Thank you, like people like Jeff for there, giving him some love in the chat there. That's true, Gaz. It says a lot about the competition this year that these didn't make the finals. Execution is great. Yeah. Uh, it's partly because there were so many games entered. They normally have about 30 to 35 to judge. This year, there was like 51 or 52 games or something like that. So they had to split it into finalists and semi-finalists. And we didn't get to the semi-finalist games on last week's M stream. So, yeah, tonight, that's what we're doing. Nice bit of music here. Oh, that's a nice touch, Sakis. It says it's also in five languages as you get more confused in your mother tongue. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> also, it's nice that you find the intro there explaining optical illusions as well. You would have got extra marks from me for that as well. Well done. Hey, Nish. Good night, dude. Thanks for another great interview, so it's like, good night, everyone. Thank you, man. Thank you. Good night, CPC Game Reviews. And as always, fantastic website you have. And uh, we love the work you've done there. Good night, dude. Level one, jump. Oh, oh, wasn't working. Uh, oh, spacebar. We use spacebar. It's it's like the early version of um, Oscar Z. <laughs> <laughs> oh bloody hell Al, come on It's actually quite, uh, quite smooth scrolling Though he doesn't have much to scroll But um oh. <laughs> I quite like the music as well I need to do little jumps. Right, okay, okay. Oh, you can shift left and right over them. What you gotta do is just jump a little earlier for them. Oh! This plays like the Google T Rex game. Yes, that's what Tullo was talking about with Oscar Z. He was he, he actually got in slightly inspired by that what you're talking about, Brian. Oh Okay. There was a bit of keyboard clash there and I couldn't um hit um pushing back and space at the same time. can go really quickly forward sometimes. Ah! Okay. Come on, I just want to see if, like what level two is like if anything else happens. Of that same bit. Looks a bit slippy to control left and right. Yeah, you push right, and then after a second, he will zip back left again. It's hard to describe.
Um, it's like, it reminds me of some of those like mobile games in the Android store, the Play Store. Yay! I did it! You know, should, we should probably take a, a, a snapshot here. What was this called again? Neeb or something? Can't remember. Yay! Level two. This is, it says dodge. Oh, look! There's a cloud dropping stuff on us. Should have made the finals. A bit of slow down there. Oh no! <laughs> it's a bit like Moon Patrol without the, sp the shooting. Uh, Conta Gestaltung, thank you for subscribing. If you're watching, come and say hello in the chat, and we'll give you a nice big Amstream welcome. Thank you, thank you. Uh, the controls went a bit funny there. Uh, something's gone wrong with the controls. He's, the, the rabbit's got stuck to the far right of the screen there. Sorry, far left. That was weird. Yeah, something's going off. With the, something's going wrong here with the controls. Right, is, is that's where he should be? Move left. I'm still playing it. Oh! All right, one more go. One more go. I kind of, I'm actually intrigued to see what they will do in level three. What are you guys thinking? Oh, lots of clouds now. Oh, okay. There you go. What the hell was this called again? Speed. S P E E B. Speed. Hey, the Anthocet Paneer. Good evening. Good evening, dude. How are you doing, sir? I loved your loved your guitar pics you shared in my Discord. Love them. Awesome guitar. Um. Pink and purple seems to be the dominant colours this evening. You're right, Brian. <laughs> All right. The rabbit must have severe friction burns on its little tum tum. Says Texy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor little rabbit. <laughs> I was just about to say you did it about a snapshot. We did. Yes. Yes. Nice enough, says guys. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, this is some, the controls are a bit weird. So the rabbit sort of has this central position. If you push right and let go of pushing right, he gets immediately pulled back to its centre position. And then you can push left to move back a bit. Let go of pushing left and, he's, and he gets pulled back. Like he's on a rubber band. It's hard, it's hard to get used to the controls there, but hey, it's all right. Alright, next up is a game called Ramen Man. 
Ramen Man. Okay, some strange names tonight. It says, Welcome to Raman. Oh, maybe just Raman. Uh, right, let's have a look at the controls. OPQ. Uh, uh, OPQ. Oh, hang on. OP move left to right. Q is long jump, A is short jump. Okay. Credits. There's the coders. Yeah, that's why I thought it was a reference to Tetsi Raymond Noodles or something like that. Or Ramen Noodles, however you pronounce it. Right, let's have a play. Ah, it's a simple, like, single screen platformer. <laughs> we saw quite a lot of these in the competition. Uh, but this controls nicely enough. Shame there's like <laughs> no frames of animation on the main sprite. Oh no! Sorry. Or on the enemies. <laughs> Can't pick up the heart. Maybe we've got too many lives already or something. Okay, okay. Well, it's a very, very simple single screen platformer, but the sprites move about very smoothly. The controls are nice and responsive. How many crap platformer games from back in the day do we remember that was sluggish as hell, unresponsive controls, and was just a nightmare to play? That went for, like, sometimes full price, if not budget prices. So you've got to give respect there. Play smoothly, responsively. Uh, I think, you know, with a bit of time to work on... Oops. Uh, graphics and sound and music and stuff like that. You know, it could be quite a good little game. The basics are all there. There you go. There we go. Over we go. So this is obviously from some of the students, I think. So, uh... hey, got a bonus life there. Nice. Us. <laughs> and it's nice it's got two different jump controls. One button for long jump, one button for short jump. I know, I'm trying to find uh, positives and all that. Easy level. And it's all getting a bit repetitive now, of course. Oh! Oh! Game over. There you go. <laughs> Ram Man there. Ram Man. Should we call it Ram Man? Game over. Well, not bad. Not bad. Good effort from the, some of the students there. Ryan's a little bit of finders keepers. Ah. <laughs> there you go. Okay. 
Oh dear, Zypho. QAOP. I know, I know. I like my. I can still deal with QAOP. I'm much better with WASD. Although that was OP for left and right, Q and A for small jump and big jump, Taxi. But yeah, a good effort. I did not get angry playing that. Uh, responsive controls, sprites move about very smoothly. It's just very, very basic in design, graphics, and there's no sound. With a bit more time, a bit more work, there's potential for a fairly decent platformer there. That was Rawman. Rawman. Okay, next up is a game called <laughs> Go Away Viking. Go Away Viking. Where's Arnie? Is Arnie still in the chat? <laughs> Music. Go away, Viking. Find me. Hey, no worries, Jimmy. No worries. Just thank you for everyone for your kind messages. You should cheer Jay up a bit when I show her tomorrow's iPhone. Thanks for kind words earlier on. Jane, lots of love to you, Jane. Um, there's nothing I can really say that's going to make anything better. Um, but uh, I hope you get through it, and I'm really, really sorry for your loss. Never easy putting a dog down. Yeah, please, Arnie, don't go away. <laughs> Night ZT there. I, I, don't, I think Arnie might have gone to bed. Damn. He, he, he missed his uh, shining moment here. Right, le right, left, up, down, and throw. QIOP space. God damn it. We can't redefine it. Credits. Asterix, uh, Mark, whatever, anyway. Sorry if I missed what you were saying earlier. And I said hello. Okay. Q A O P. All I can do is Q and A. O P. O P. I can do O and P. A doesn't do anything. Q doesn't do anything. Space doesn't do anything. But I've got a key. Level completed. Enter to continue. Oh! Right, okay. It's climb ladder so you can't jump. And there's horrible aliens about. Well, it plays smoothly enough. Responsive controls like the last... Smooth and responsive like the last, the previous game. I quite like the charm of the Viking versus Aliens. As fine man says Mark, uh, just chilling. By the way, have you finished your crimbo shopping? Halfway through it. Halfway through it. <laughs> I'm starting to get worried now. <laughs> about certain things I haven't got. So yeah, click the key, get to the door. Oh, reminds uh, you of Booty, says David Jenner. Yeah, oh! Oops. Yeah, 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 I see why. Alright, we're going to do it when he's on the... There. What we're going to do is watch the aliens' patterns. They have a set pattern they go in. pick up. Apparently you can throw it with a space... <laughs> Wrecked! Get caught by those aliens and they'll give you a hug. They look so happy. They do! They're, they're happy, goofy aliens there. <laughs> Shame there's no frames of animation on the, on the sprites again, but hey. Again, guys, this is probably... Uh, made by students. Rex. <laughs> you know, I'm having an alright time with it. You can't push off a ledge and fall down. I do like the Viking sprite though. Do you know what? Uh, I'm going to screenshot the sprite. I'm going to send that to Arnie. 
Uh, hang on, what's this called? I'll just, I'll just call him Viking. Right, I've got a screenshot of it now. Maybe Arnie can use it as his avatar. <laughs> guy at the bottom. We'll hold on to the axe for now, or whatever it's called. Uh, yeah, Joffa, I think the collision detection's a little bit harsh on this. Ah! Oh. Let's get rid of that guy now from, my, from across the gap. Wait for this one. Looks like conspiracy midget with tinfoil hair. <laughs> Does a bit actually. <laughs> hey Brian! It says good night everyone. I have to call it a night as I'm getting a bit sleepy. Have a great weekend everyone I know. We'll see you next week. Much love Brian. Brian, it's been lovely to have you here tonight. You're able to have a good and stream session for once. And uh, lovely to have you here again, mate. Take care, dude. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you soon. <laughs> lovely, lovely Brian. Thank you, kind alien, for coming out the way there. Even though you were looking straight at me. <laughs> That was Go Away Viking. <laughs> hey, uh, Lucas, welcome back. I'll take a snapshot there. We might play a little bit more of that in a bit, maybe. Go. That one was called Go Away Viking, <laughs> Lucas. All right. What's the next one, then? Not a bad little game, that. These are all decent quality. All right, this one is called Cursed Fort from a guy called Giles Chain. Hey, okay. might be an English guy. Run fort dot basic. First fought by uh, Giles Chain. Might be French, actually. Bit of music. Anything gonna happen? Seen something there. 
Oh my goodness, David Jenner! Holy crap! The ten pounds through the super chat. It says as always, cheers, I. Oh, thank you, mate. Thank you. Thank you very, very, very much. Bananas in the chat for the ten pounds from David there. Thank you, David. Good grief, that's a lot, mate. That's a lot. Thank you, man. Thank you. I assume you're heading off to bed. If so, have an awesome weekend, David. And uh, thank you so much for tuning in, being part of the community. And um, that's very, very kind, don't know. Cheers, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Right. I'm just reading the manual here. And thank you, guys, to Bananas, to David there as well. Cheers again, David. Thank you. Man. Thank you. Woo. <laughs> what a night. Wow. Um, manual. Endurance is your physical and moral form. Ability is your skill and combat. Look can make your attention more. Hold down left, right, fire or copy other keyboard or joystick controls. Up to jump or shoot your bow. Dodge right, dodge left, down, bend down. Fire a copy, attack of your sword. Okay. Oh. Story place, takes place during the Civil War. You are Sergeant John Borrow. You are part. Oh. Um. I missed the story there. Sorry. Um. Enduring. Oh, we've got to choose our profile choice. Enduring, skillful, or lucky. Let's go for lucky. Type C. Oh, blimey. Okay. It's been several days now that you were attacked attached to a totem pole when the chief of the Sioux approaches and calls out to you. Okay. Take the opportunity to split spit in his face and tell him your best insults. Yikes. Uh okay. Uh a bit slow. The great chief stepped forward and uttered, Is this the pale skinned dog who killed our children and invaded our sacred lands? It was he who aroused Wakan Tank Tanker's Wakan Tanker's anger. He must die today. Okay. John Burrow looked at the great chief in dark silence. Okay. The great chief said, Kill him and his body will be thrown at the gates of the cursed for either way, it's already too late. Wakan Tanker is already on his way to avenge our tribe. Okay. Luckily, the bonds which held Borrow prisoner gave way under the force of his wrists, and in a burst of survival, he picked up his sword and rushed towards the chief. Right, are we going to have a fight? Uh, well, Mike, we don't. I don't think we've actually got to the game yet. That's the thing. Great chief brandishes his weapons, and the fight is inevitable. Right. Are we going to fight? We're going to do something? Let's see. The Great Chief decides to attack you with his axe. I spelled that wrong. Uh, dodge an attack at the right time. Right attack. Oh! Oh, I've got to press, I've got to press controls to um, avoid the attack. It's all text based. Jump, jump, docking, pressing down, down, uh, right. I've just got to do the opposite. <laughs> okay. Your opponent retreats. Your attack is unsuccessful. Oh. Your attack is... Your attack is unsuccessful. Oh, bloody hell, what?
right, I did fire him right when he retreated and it killed him. Don emerges victorious from this fight, putting an end to his invectives. As Boro barely recovered from this fight with the Indian, another danger looms before him. Put some music on the background. The other Indians of the tribe rush to John. In American English, you can have axe spelt as axe without an E. Stupid American. <laughs> Sorry, T Dog. <laughs> the other Indians of the tribe rush to John. Uh, what are you going to do? Flee, attack with sword, flip the idol on the warriors, treat and negotiate. Felt wrong there as well. Uh, flip the idol on the warriors. Let's, let's try that. I press free. Oh, I have to press down on the joystick. Oh! Your choice is it's the arrow key, so if I want to choose three, I'm going to push down. Right, okay. You spill the bloodstained wooden idol on the other Indians. You flee and recover a bow from an Indian crushed by the idol. Fort Ridgely is a northern army fort. Fort Donaldson is a southern army fort. Okay. Let's escape from the Indians. One, north, two, three. Oh, what? Well, oh, right. I'll have a meal. Right, okay. So I need to go. Oh, let's go north to the forest. You are hungry and thirsty, but you have to keep going, okay? I was now moving on the map a bit. Okay, so it's kind of like a, a text adventure, slightly. Uh, it's like that, um, what's that freaking uh, Wild West game that was on budget that people like a lot? It's not called High Noon. Um, it's like that. What's it called, guys? Oh, the Wild West game, it's a lot of text and you make choices to survive. You can have gunfights in the game. They're a bit crappy done, though, aren't they? God, what was it called, guys? Does anyone remember know the one I'm talking about? Wild Bunch. That's it, Maud. It's like the Wild Bunch, if anyone's seen that before. We've done it a few times on the stream before. You hunt a bison that brings you two meals. Lovely. Let's have a meal. If I had a meal. Right, go north. Forest. Hey, Ray Hunt! Thank you for the subscription there. Sorry the uh, satellite didn't play there. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. If you're uh, watching the stream, come and say hello in the chat as well. Oh, a cougar decides to attack you. Your opponent retreats. I've got to avoid the attack. Right, okay. Jump. Duck. Duck. Uh, what's happening? It's all very slow. There's like a bit of a wait now. You hunt a bison or something or something about that it got it got me a meal or something. Anyway, anyway, it's a bit too slow paced for a stream. I think we've seen all we're gonna see. So um uh, it's probably a not bad game to like uh just chill out on, you know what I mean? If you've got a few hours to kill on a rainy afternoon, you're into this kind of thing. You like a bit of wild bunch, then yeah, that's alright. 
Uh, hey, 100 Mega Shock. How are you doing, Sebastian? All the way from Uruguay. How are you doing, buddy? Good to see you back here again. Uh, Jester is still here in the chat. How are you doing, Jester? I don't remember to call you that. And uh, Talonscape, how are you doing? We're doing um, the semi finalist games from the CT Retro Dev. This was called Cur The Cursed Fort. So, not bad. Not bad at all. Nice to try something a little bit original and different. Although, um, Wild Bunch got there first. Right, let's move on to a game. This one is called Slimy. Or Slimy. S L I M Y. How you doing, Talon, though? Good to see you. Oh, there's music. There you go. That's right, main names. No bad games so far. No. UAOP and Spain. Yes. Ah, okay, can't have WASD. Slimmy or Slimy? I hope your week's been good, uh, Talon. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's a blob that jumps between uh, the ceiling and the floor. Face the next level. Okay. <laughs> uh, a very simple game. Very simple game. hell that was. Is it a knee is it a needle or something? Oh that was difficult there. Actually it's not too hard. Level seven. How'd you get through those two? I just got to time it very, 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 very close. Right. Oh, he falls quicker than he jumps. Right. Ah. Oh, okay. Okay. Ideally, you want to be on the bottom of the plane area. Because gravity makes you fall quicker. <laughs> Move right, left when going up. Oh. Oh, you can. Right. Oops. I see. I got you. Thank you, Sakis. Yeah, that music's a little bit irritating. Right, okay, well... Oh, new backgrounds! Rest in peace, Jess. Ah, oh, the ghost's got me! I like the color change of backgrounds now. Some different enemies. That music is bloody irritating though now. But at least it's got some form of music in the game, not completely silent. Oh. Level 14, here we go. Oh, 
bananas rain. Feeling down tonight. Aww. Thanks to you and all the AM squad for cheering me up. Oh, Tal, I'm sorry to hear you're feeling down tonight, buddy. Oh, that's not good. Um, enjoy your dancing sugars and fireworks. Talon, I'm really sorry to hear that, mate. We don't want to stab Talon. Uh, but if we've managed to cheer you up, that's really, really good. So take your mind off things. I hope it's going to be anything too bad. Do you ever want to chat, mate? My DMs are always open. But thank you for the magical 464 there. Thank you, Talon. Thank you, mate. And uh, I hope you're all right, dude. I hope you're all right. Um, t um, Pippi Stopper, I didn't get a chance to say hello to you earlier, I think. <laughs> welcome again, my friend. Welcome. Um, um, Maud likes the background. And yeah, Mike, you're right there. Jump and push a direction. That might help as well. Yes, as uh, Saki said. You're missing bananas on your iPad. Just type exclamation exclam exclamation mark bananas. Job done. I've done the commands for you. <laughs> oh, I got wrecked. But Talon, I'm glad we've taken your mind off stuff, whatever it is anyway. Thank you again, buddy. Thank you. You've been extremely generous recently. And I appreciate you, dude. Thank you. Alright, level 15. I might go outside level 20 and call it there. I just want to see. Perhaps if we. Oh! I didn't see that sprite there. Yeah, that sprite was kind of a bit hidden there. I think a glitch there. Give me sprites on the screen. <laughs> I like the ghost sprites. I like the Pac Man ghosts. Always love a Halloween-y theme as well. Right. Level 18. Pretty short levels, little blasts of fun. <laughs> Let's see what level 20 or 20, oh my goodness, level 20 or 21 brings us. Oh, oh. oh! I've done it though this time. Oh! That was tough. Prince of Persia level. Okay. But it's pretty much the same stuff happening, isn't it? So, it's quite well done for what it is. Very, very simple game. But, uh... <laughs> hey, Mr. Sogs, welcome to the stream. He says, this seems like a sadistic version of Flappy Bird. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Um, well, there you go. Uh, what was that called again? That was called Slimy, but it's misspelt. It needs a S L I M E Y, not S L I M Y, but there you go. <laughs> oh, who's talking about Evil Dead 2? Oh, is it Lucas again kicking off the Evil Dead 2 discussions? Jester, you gotta watch Ash vs. Evil Dead. Get on the case of that ASAP. ASAP, dude. Oh, you actually do have turtles, do you, Talon Scave? Uh, so, what, uh, he wanted to name them. What was it you wanted to name them? Sorry. Oh, you wanted to ask them and um, name them after the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but your son named them Jabber, Greedo, and Squirtle. Oh, 
And Talon, I'm, I've not forgotten the donor you did the other uh, week about Among Us. I will be, I'll be looking into that and seeing how many in the Amstream community has Among Us. Maybe we could do some games together at some point on Twitch. All right, let's move on to the next game. Um, this, this one is called Shoot to Move by Mark Landes. Okay, Shoot to Move. Here it comes. Mate, I freaking love Evil Dead. I worship at the feet of Bruce Campbell and Sam Raimi. You talk as much as you want about Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, Army of Darkness, Sam Raimi, Bruce Campbell, Ooh! and especially Ash vs. Evil Dead. Oh, uh, I think it did very well to get, was it two or three seasons? I'd love more, but um, man, that would be an expensive show to produce. Right. Joffre agrees as well. Oh my, I've just seen something in the chat there. Wait for the alert to pop up. It's a bit slow and delayed. Dimitris Papakos, welcome to the stream. Hey man, how you doing? He's just woken up after a lazy day in bed. Man, your body clock's going to be screwed now for the weekend. Come on, alert. Come on. Come on! Oh, it's taking forever. There! Oh, the sound's not working on the alert. Oh, bloody hell. Lego Commander, thank you for the 664. I will replay it again and hopefully you get the Doughboy jingle there. And then, wow, 664, of course. The rare and legendary 664. Let's try this again. Um, Streamlabs? Streamlabs is not sending the alert again. Bloody hell. Well, anyway, Lego Commander, <laughs> thank you. Uh, I, I guess you may have been lurking most of the night and uh, just chilling watching the stream. He says, thanks for keeping us all entertained. No, thank you, uh, Lego Commander. Can we have some bananas in the chat for the Lego Commander if you haven't already? And let the bananas rain down. Yeah, Streamlabs is really kind of dodgy with YouTube. They blame YouTube and YouTube blames them. There you go. There you go. Get your devil boy jingle. <laughs> Thank you, Lego Commander. Thank you very, very, very much. Thank you. That is extremely kind of you and me and the uh, missus and family really, really appreciate it. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, Anthony as well. Take care, buddy. Um, my pleasure, man. I hope you've had a good time tonight. Take care. Have an awesome weekend. We'll see you soon, dude. Right. We better crack on with the game. Uh, classic multiplayer or credits? Let's have a look. Does joystick work? Joystick does not work. That's not a good start. Okay. Uh, okay. Space doesn't work. What keys has he chosen here? Oh, there is music. A shoots. A shoots. S jump. D shoots right. The hell are the controls on this? What on earth is going on with this? Oh, so when you shoot, it pushes you the opposite direction. Uh... Oh, actually, okay. 
I get it. That's not a bad concept, actually. So, all you got is shoot left, shoot right, and shoot down. So, with shooting down, if you time it, you can keep yourself bouncing. So, every time you shoot, you get the opposite reaction that pushes you away. Music is bloody horrible, by the way. I don't think you can even hear it. Put mine on. And you have to get to the green square. And because it's the opposite force reaction, it's off-putting because to move right, you want to push right. But actually, you want to push, you want to press the left key to shoot left to push you over to the right. Okay, right. Are you right? <laughs> and you just got to get to the green square. Uh, graphics are a bit glitchy there. Oh! There you go. Oh! I've beaten it. <laughs> well. Shoot to move. It was an interesting idea. Hence the name, Shoot to Move. There you go. An interesting idea. Um, and sadly, we've just beaten it. Uh, there's a multiplayer. How does the multiplayer work? Press one, two, three, select them. Oh, you can shoot the other opponent if you want to. Player one wins. You can have a two-player battle. That's cool. <laughs> there you go. I oh, have potential there, but like, unfortunately, um, they could really capitalise on it and expand it into a, a, a game that is sort of well, it was over very, very quickly, wasn't it? Interesting idea. Interesting idea. Needed a lot more time stewing in the cooking pot. You know. Yeah. <laughs> good grief. Right, again, great content and lots of things potential. Good to see how they execute the time limit of the contest. Well, I think you might be. In... Oh, Gaz, that might be an old message, was it? Oh, no. No, no, you are referring to this one. Sorry, sorry, yeah. Uh, OSG says it's like frost with bullets. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, I think you summarised that really well. <laughs> oh yeah, you can choose a blank option or something. Look, hang on, there. I don't know what choose option is on this. It may well be a hidden game mode or something, but is it working? Anyway, never mind. All right, well, moving on. Uh, this next one is called Babylon Flotilla. What? <laughs> there are some strange name, strangely named games this year. Babylon Flotilla. Lord. Uh, Talents Gave wants to play Astro... I want Astro Playroom. What's that about? I think I'm... Is that some PS5 game or something? I might miss a whole discussion there, sorry. You're right about the left being right, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, right. No, left, right, right, yeah. <laughs> Some people putting scores in the chat there. I'm not going to score these games because it's, you know, it's students' projects and stuff like that mostly. So, um, um, 
Gorka, the banana man, admitting defeat, scrolling back to bed. Thanks for streaming, have a great weekend all. Hey, no worries. Thank you again for the dono, as always, Gorka. Thank you, man. And thank you for being here, as always. You have an awesome weekend, dude. Catch you soon. Take care, bud. Hey, my chicken nut raw. Good evening, dude, as well. Oh, were you watching all this time? He says, because uh, he says the interview was quality. Oh, thank you, man. Unless you went the round and went back to watch it. Thank you, man. Have you played um, Abduction of Oscar C? It's bloody great. I hope, you, I hope you've been keeping well, dude. Another OG from the early days of the Amstream. My chicken not raw. How you doing, buddy? Right, press Q to start. Right, see if joystick works. Joystick doesn't work. <laughs> Game over. Right. Oh, uh, what's the trick of the controls? Right, space to shoot. Q doesn't do, oh. WS, it's WSAD, hurrah. There we go, oh that moves, actually this ship moves around quite nicely. You can actually fire loads of bullets as well. That that always that I like that in uh, shooting mops. Actually, you can just hold down the space bar. Level one completed. It's, it's got a nice star field there. Stars moving, you know, at uh, different speeds to each other. Nice, 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 like that. Oh, you've got to destroy all the rocks. You're protecting the Earth from asteroids and rocks. I got it. Maybe, all right, to get up close to the edge of the screen, maybe. level one this is all right yeah yeah it's probably back to level bloody one. Oh my god it's the flatter <laughs> oh god oh no oh no flat earth confirmed <laughs> trust you to retro on limb Oh, hang on, it wasn't Retro and Lim. It was, um, who spotted that first? It was Johnny Boy. <laughs> the thing on the left is a bit off-putting. Why is it off-putting? That is because it looks like a flat earth. <laughs> hey, Avocet, Avocet is engaging lurk mode. No worries, dude. We'll catch you back here in a bit. Uh, there's no sound or music in the game, sadly. It sort of plays all right, though. Level one completed. There we go. You got a mate who's a flat earther. Oh god. What do you say to him, Lucas? When you have a friend like that. If I have any like that, they're keeping quiet about it, probably. See if anything else interesting happens. We noticed was it level four? A red um, asteroid appears, so we do get some changes in the game. I'm wondering what else there'll be later on. Level three completed. Right. Is this the one with the red asteroid? Yes. Can we have some turtles in the chat? Oh. Talonscape! Again, the sound alert didn't play there, but the text-to-speech did! 
Talonske, thank you for oh, another dono. <laughs> Says, can we have some turtles in the chat? You know what? I'm going to make a special command for you tonight. Let's see. Where's the turtle emote? Right, there we go. There's the turtles. I'm gonna add a. I, I'm. I'm gonna replay the alert so you can get your Del Boy jingle. Can we have some turtles in the chat? Yes. All right. <laughs> right. I'm gonna add a Nightbot command. Hang on. Uh, exclamation mark. Turtles. Let's see if that works. Right. Turtle. Let's see. Exclamation mark turtles. Come on, Nightbot. Sometimes it takes a little time for it to come through. Can we have some turtles in the chat? Hey, yeah, we've got a turtles command now. All right. I'm trying to. <laughs> I don't know why the sound's not playing. I, I, let me pause my music. Turtles in the chat for Talonscape. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Eddie, for the 464 Talon as well. There you go, you got your Del Boy jingle. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Thank you. There you go. Quick hand sugar there. <laughs> and why not? We'll Can we have some well. turtles in the chat? Can we have some turtles in the chat? <laughs> Of course, there we go, Talon. <laughs> the stream is now spammed with turtles. All right, we're going to... Oh! My chicken! Oh my goodness, dude! With a 10 pounds, it says, Oh, he's here, mate. Next by expert, I'm going to see this out and I'm going to walk in the cold mode. <laughs> always here, mate. Next play expo. I'm going to seek you out and have an awkward convo. <laughs> of course, mate. I'd love to have a chat with you at some point. There we go. Could we have bananas in the chat for my chicken not raw? Indeed. Indeed, dude. We'll have, we'll have to meet up at a play Blackpool or a play Manchester at some point. As soon as they're back on and they're safe to go to, I'll be there. Thank you, my dude, for the ten pounds, mate. Seriously, you sure? You sure? Let me know if you want me to refund or anything. Whatever. But thank you, my chicken. Thank you, dude. Thank you. All right. That game was called Bab uh, Babylon Flotilla. <laughs> Strange name. This game is called Setback. Okay. Hope this disc works. Thank you for all the bananas and all the turtles. In the chat there. Oh. oh, I think we did play this one. This is this is the one I think that got pushed into the finals because there was a game that was disqualified. No way, Lucas. He's a clever bloke, though. Maybe not sure. He's a psychopath, but for some bad reason, we need to be there. Have you noticed that? Can't get the crust around it. What? How is that dude working as a nurse? One of the guys working at our local subway is a flat earth and tries to pay all his customers to his way of thinking. But I, I don't want to get into politics, but it's like, look, you can have certain beliefs in something, right? You might have a belief that aliens landed on the Earth millions of years ago. You might believe in ghosts and fairies. You might believe in uh, the invisible sky fairy in the sky. You might believe in God or whatever, and you have those beliefs, fine. But, like, say the Earth is flat, it's like science and history shows you it's not. It's like, I can't fathom it. It, it. It's like saying, 
this is not a, a can. You know, this is this is a banana. No, it's a can. It, you can see it's a can. It is a can. Right. Oh sure. Anyway, move on, move on, move on, move on. Space to play. Don't set a time as we can see the has been stolen by the aliens. You have one only one mission achieved to watch it. Uh just left right on space to play. Right, okay. I'm pretty sure that we played this last week. I think this was the semi-finalist game that got new to the finals. That's kind of the point, FC Den Hog, as well. It's not believing in a flat earth. It's not politics, is it? Political. It's science. Like. Yeah. I'm not going to insult anyone. If you, uh, you know, if you believe that uh, the COVID virus isn't as dangerous as the media reports, for example, that's a big hot topic at the moment. That's just, you know. Oh, I'm staying clear of that conversation completely. I'll let you. I'll let you have your point of view and your ideas and your opinions on that. You can't argue that the Earth is flat. Right. Okay. But we're not talking here to talk about politics. We're going to talk about Amstrad games. And setback was all right. That's one we played last week. I'm sure that one got moved up to the finalists. So, okay, moving on. Next game tonight is Cell Block. Cell Block. Here we go. Have I heard about the Flat Moon? Oh, God, there's Flat Mooners as well. <laughs> hey, Raina as well. Good night, Raina. Have a great weekend. Uh, nice to see you here again. You take care. Oh, there's a Flat Earth Doc on Netflix. Right, okay, Juffa. I might. Oh, I'm not sure I want to watch it. It might make me angry. I don't know. <laughs> Babylon Flotilla says Mr. Soggs. Is that in the Karma Sutra? I don't know. I'll consult my well thumbed copy and, ch and find out for you in a bit. <laughs> oh! Oh, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. OMG, sorry. Sent 10 by accident. Here's another 10 as to say sorry. <laughs> oh no, my chicken nut raw. You really didn't. <laughs> All right, bananas and turtles in the chat for my chicken nut raw. <laughs> Thank you, my friends. Thank you. Oh my God, mate, you're up to 20. Cheers, dude. All right, I, I won't be like, are you sure? Um, you know, let me know if you change your mind, blah, blah, blah. Thank you, my chicken, not right. <laughs> Thank you very much. And we will have a beer or a drink at a retro convention at some point, I'm sure. Um, what the hell is that an emote text? Is that a snake or something? I can't see it on my screen very well. There we go. Thank you for the turtles and banana spam there. Uranus is flat. How rude of you, Retro and Lim. <laughs> exactly, Wayne. Flat moon, they must be correct with, surely. <laughs> hey, Ruffrim. Take care, Ruffrim. Good night, dude. Take care. Have an awesome weekend, and we'll see you soon, man. And uh, Ruffrim, what have I got to say for Ruffrim? Uh, Ruffrim, love that you're missing for Avatar as always. You take care, man. It's always great to see you here. I thought I had something to tell you, Ruffrim, and I've completely forgotten what it was. I just had a big, a complete brain fart. Oh, well. I'll remember, I'll remember for next time. <laughs> uh, okay. Right, this music's great, isn't it? OPQA for yeah. That's it. All right, I could. I mean, I'm controlling the little blue alien head up there. 
Oh, I guess you've got to escape the cell block. Right. <laughs> and that's all the game is. <laughs> right, okay. Got a bit of charm to it, though. Okay, so you've got to escape from your prison. Oh, nearly there, nearly. Oh, uh, Persia, it says there. I've got a ghost chasing us, right. Ghost of a prisoner that died here, maybe. Trolls are a little bit fiddly. So oh. Sort of work, okay. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh! Did I miss a dono? Did the alert not play? Hang on, 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 hang on. Uh, hang on. There we go. Ned's way, Jordan. With the five pounds in the super chat. Wow, mate. <laughs> Thank you for the bananas and the turtles in the chat. That has already happened already. Thank you for all the bananas there, Mr. Wayne Jordan. What was the message there, Wayne? Uh, don't forget, the earth is also hollow. <laughs> uh, yeah, I probably sh shut up. I may have viewers that um, strongly believe in a flat earth, and I probably upset them now. I don't know. I don't know. You're all entitled to your views. It's just that I think that you can't dispute that. You can't produce any evidence that the earth is flat. I don't know. Anyway, enough about that. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you. Jester, Mr. Jez Dukes. Good night, dude, as well. He's just got work in the morning. Have a great weekend, mate. All the best to you and your family, dude. And uh, we'll see you soon. Wayne, thank you very, very much, mate, for the fiver. Bless you, mate. Bless you. That's a good point, Joffa. It says, if the earth was flat, cats would have pushed everything off the edge by now. <laughs> Andrea likes that as well. <laughs> Thank you again, Wayne. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Zark212. Uh, welcome to the stream, or at least welcome to the chat there. I believe that one day I will be Monty on the run. Good luck with that. Uh, I think I got quite far in it on an Am stream once. Uh, but there's a, I think there's a buggy section that caught me out. Oh! My chicken not raw! <laughs> With another dono, a third dono tonight. How crazy How will crazy the, the meetup be post this? I know, mate, I know. Bananas, but especially turtles in the chat again. <laughs> but Mr. My Chicken Not Raw. <laughs> Actually, we need we need chicken emotes, don't we? We need a chicken emote for him. Let me do that. Hang on. Do we have a chicken? We do. Because these are not raw chickens. Right, well, uh, we're at, we will add, hang on then, exclamation mark, chickens. <laughs> right, okay, in honor of my chicken not raw, it is for donation. We now have exclamation mark, chickens. There you go. 
<laughs> Let's have some exclamation mark chickens in the chat for my chicken not raw. <laughs> Uh, sorry, what was Zark saying there? Like that was the section my brother put his fist through the wall and I'm on bell to do. Oh, God. <laughs> oh! You, you better have a raw chicken. <laughs> oh, my God, five pounds. Are you silly, son, my chicken? <laughs> you better have a raw chicken. <laughs> Exclamation mark chickens in the chat again one more time. Oh bloody hell. This channel is full of cocks. I yes. <laughs> um actually is there like a is there like a cook chicken emote? Uh, I don't think so. Food, 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 food. Might be one in the food. Uh, I'm not sure there's a, I can't see a fried chicken one so far. If someone can find it and post the, post the actual fried chicken one. I can see a burger. We've got, we have got rustlers, exclamation mark rustlers in the chat. That also works. I know we're going off a bit, um, off on a tangent now from gaming. <laughs> the blood silly emotes, but hey. Have you ever, my chicken, you were going to explain your name years ago to me. Uh, my my chicken not raw. Where, do, where the hell does my chicken not raw come from? And what does it mean? Indeed, FC. All right, I've added some extra chickens to the exclamation mark chickens. He works at KFC. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, uh, Zark, we got quite far in Monty on the run one night and we got to a section that I just lost a life over and over and over repeatedly somehow. That's kind of common in some of the Monty games. You go off the edge of a screen and you move into an area that kills you immediately and you can get like killed over and over. It might be the different Monty game I'm thinking of. Uh, but I can't do Monty on the Run on the stream anymore, make a video of it, because Rob Hubbard has cut, copyrighted all his music, and I will get claims on Monty on the Run. So unfortunately, Monty on the Run is banned from my channel and am stream, so uh, you'll never see me do a long play of it. Not unless it's silent all the way through, and what's the point? Because the best thing about Monty on the Run is the bloody music. Right. Um. This chat is making me hungry. <laughs> there isn't a fried chicken emote then or anything. Damn, never mind. Hey, Juffa. Good night, Juffa. <laughs> Have a great weekend, dude. And we'll see you soon. Have a great uh, weekend. Uh, oh, there is that glitch? Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, Abby Symbol Pro Profanation has the same one. Ah, oh, yeah, there's a few platform games of that sort of book. Airwolf has a similar thing happening in it. Thank you again, my chicky not raw. And, uh... Let me know where your um, username comes from. You were... I think you were telling... Partly telling me one stream a long time ago. You might have told me the story of your... Why you have a name that is my chicken not raw. Oh my god, I just went through that prison guard there. Oh. And I died. Well, there you go. That one is cell block. And I think we've seen all we're going to see of that one. Next up, on the CPT Retro Dope, we've only got about two or three games left, actually. There's a game called Jumper Man. Maybe he likes woolly jumpers a lot. Oh, there is a cooked chicken one. Oh, yeah, there is that one. Ah, so that chicken is not raw. Maybe that, maybe that should be his um, command. My chicken, not raw.
So guys, if you do exclamation mark my chicken not raw in the chat, you should get the nightbot respond with some cooked chicken. There you go. My chicken not exclamation mark my chicken not raw is sorted. There you go. There you go. Job done. Right. Okay. Uh, press enter. O P space to jump. What was this called again? Jumper man. It's all about catching jumpers. Retro limb likes raw chicken, right? <laughs> you can't type that, he's too drunk, Johnny Boy. Where's the top tips? Oh! Oh! <laughs> exclamation mark, my chicken not raw in the chat. Oh, exclamation mark, chicken. Oh my god, another ten, dude! In Derby, we will hang out one day. Uh, you only got the oh, the text to speech didn't work there. Um, only for the last bit because I'm down with the rustlers. I mean, it's not quality, but it fills a need. Al, you are not. I'm Derby. We will hang out one day. Oh, Derby lads. <laughs> hey, yeah, not far down the A52 from me, then, dude. Thank you. <laughs> Bananas and chickens and one day you'll explain your username to me. You tease me long enough. Or oh, exclamation mark chickens. There we go. My god dude, thank you. Uh thank you very, 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 very much. Holy crap dude. 10, 20, 30, 35, you're up to 36 quid. Stop. Thank you, my chicken not raw. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, God, I keep forgetting the name of this bloody game. Uh, Jumper Man. We go around collecting woolly jumpers, I think. Right, press end start. OP space to jump. Oh, God, it's like that um, rabbit game. What? Uh, this is a bit... Level completed. Right, oh, okay. Jumper man, it looks looks like a looks like a like a looks like a girl. Oh yeah yeah yeah, it's glitching quite a bit here. <laughs> Ooh, quite a bit of slow down there. If I go too far left, I I die. Oh, you don't want to get pushed off the edge of the screen. That's the point. Okay. Level completed. Yikes. My chicken done a cons order. <laughs> Go and get yourself a chicken. Oh, you can't, can you? You might get a delivery, Johnny boy. Go and get yourself a chicken donut delivery. Treat yourself. It's the weekend. God damn it, this level's tough. Yeah, it's quite glitchy, this. Uh, that's unfortunate. I think it's just too many sprites. You need to do some code to deal with that. And... Oh, did it there. A bit of flickering, quite a bit of slowdown. <laughs> Not very forgiving. If you make certain mistakes, it's get pretty much game over. But oh, that was a dead end. That's evil. Oh, wrecked. That's yell. Yeah, the glitchiness is kind of it's quite off-putting, but it's it's an alright effort. Oh god damn it! So right for a few minutes of fun. <laughs> damn it! Fell off the bottom of the screen there briefly. If you saw, if you spotted that. Don't. Oh. 
I've got to make sure I jump up that section there. Oh god. It's weird how you sort of like flicker and fade in some of these blocks. <laughs> oh, why did that music bloke do that? Oi. What did I miss, Anna? Sorry. <laughs> I don't quite understand that. I like this game looks fun enough, but no staying power. It's alright for a few minutes. Jump man. Oh. I concentrate a bit harder. Oh, that's it. Hey, finally did that level. And then it's kind of like more of the same, isn't it? Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Wrecked by uh, a fast moving rock there. Is Flappy Bird in a skirt? Almost, yeah. <laughs> uh, was that a tip there? Don't fall in the pit. Um, yeah, Nintendo will sleep tonight. <laughs> hey, Wayne, take care, dude. Thank you for the very kind dono earlier. And, and uh, have a great weekend, my friends. Again, we must meet up for a beer some point as well. Be a while. <laughs> I keep saying it. And then we had a lockdown. <laughs> oh, and I get you. I was bitching about the why that music lower claim music on an 80s game hardly anyone knows about. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God, my chicken not raw again. Exclamation mark. My chicken not raw <laughs> or exclamation mark chickens what was the message there again uh, final for the night just thanks mate born in 1980 the 464 was my first love i miss you Amsterdam action this community is wonderful oh man i'm a 1981 born in 1981 the 464 was also my first love I miss Amsterd action, and I agree, the community is wonderful. I agree with all those statements. There you go. A legend. You even got, you even got your own Nightbot command tonight, my chicken not rules. So there you go. You're in a very, very small select group there. <laughs> Thank you, my chicken not raw. And now we've got lots of chickens in the chat and cook chickens. <laughs> a chicken legend. <laughs> take care dude uh, if, that's you, if that's you signing off take care man and have a great weekend lots of love to the chicken there the chicken man right okay uh, we're going to get the next game up this one is called Moonbreak I think this is pretty much the last game I think we may have one more but I think the last one is completely broken and doesn't work but we'll see ah! tape doesn't load on this one sorry the disc doesn't load on this one we're going to need to uh, get the Ape file and uh, like just speed turbo load it right. Take run. Tell you what. Oh, mod! Just seen that come up. He hasn't got the um the Del Boy music. I will sort that. Oh, you're hanging around for a bit longer. Good stuff, my chicken. Sorry. Let's pause my music. Please play the alert this time. Mod. With the one pound fifty. Thank you, Mod. Give her a few dancing sugars there. This time we can do bananas in the chat. So thank Mod there. Thank you, Mod. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Oh, we can uh, give him some rustlers as well. There we go. Exclamation mark rustlers if you want to give him some rustlers. Enrique Corres, welcome to the stream. He says, sorry for that. Sorry, sorry for what, Enrique? Oh, was that one of your games? 
Uh, we will, we'll be just looking at one of your games there. Uh, which one was yours? I'm assuming. Uh... Oh, because the just Oh, this is your one we're currently playing now. Oh, fantastic. Hey, we got the coder in the chat there. Hey, don't worry about it. What we can do... So, and apologies if we, if we miss a bit of intro or music. We put the emulator speed up to a thousand percent, and it should load in a in a couple of seconds. No worries, you are you weren't the oh god you you weren't the um only a person um to provide a disk file and it not work. In fact, there's like so many of them. I think I'm up to about at least a six seven games um didn't work on their disk files. No worries. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh bloody hell, my chicken dollar <laughs> <Or> again! <laughs> oh god, exclamation mark. Who Mike. had a multi face too? Romantic robot whoop whoop. <laughs> um yeah, he's asked a question for the chat there. Who had a multi face too? And Romantic Robot, whoop, whoop. <laughs> That's a good question. Who else had a, who had a, uh, a multi-face two? I've got two of them. And they weren't working very well last time I plugged them in. But there you go, there's the multi-face two. Who remembers this? Romantic Robot, what a good, great name. I don't know why I've got two of them. Uh, not sure how. But I love my multi-phase too. I spend most of my time loading in tape, uh, saving, it, saving it very quickly as it pops into the menu on a title screen and then saving it to discs so then I can play them on my uh, 6128. So games like Chase HQ, uh, Double Drag, no, no, Dragon Ninja, Target Renegade is an example. All the games that loaded all the levels in one go into 128k, I'd take a snapshot and save it to disc from tape. And then uh, that's most of my uses for the multi-base. Thank you, my chicken. <laughs> a legend. <laughs> Lots of bananas, chickens, turtles, and rustlers, and all sorts going on there. Okay, let's concentrate on Moonbreak. And it's there. Because we have, uh, I think it was Enrique in the chat. Uh, Enrique Corres. Uh, Antonio Rodriguez, Ricardo Ruiz, and Antonio Falco. There we go. Oh, quite a lot of um, credits there. Okay, let's do, look at controls. OPQA. Oh, joystick. Excellent. Thank you for putting joystick controls in it. What is the interface for? So you plug it in the back of your Amstrad Rusperku and you can hit the stop button at any time and it will freeze your Amstrad where it is. And you can use it like a, the Win8 debugger. If you ever use the Win8 debugger. You can put in pokes and cheats and start fiddling around with the code. Or when you hit the stop button, you can save out the entire contents of the memory into uh, several files on, uh, on a disc or tape if you were stupid to. So um, it can be used to take backup copies of your games and stuff like that. So very, very awesome, useful tool, uh, Rusbergu. Hey, FC Den Haag. No worries, mate. Take care. Enjoy your Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Especially love the interview. Great to watch for the week. Thank you, man. Have an awesome weekend, dude. Take care, FC. And good night. Right, okay. Let's get into on to Enrique's game. Let's uh, start it up. Oh, it's an overhead shooter. With uh, bouncing bullets. Hey, what's this? Uh, I think we're supposed to collect them. Oh, hang on. Is there any sound? I thought I heard some sound there. O2 oxygen. Uh, so I guess we've got to replenish our oxygen every now and again. What's this?
Is that a bad thing? Oh, oxygen level. Oh my god. I can see the uh, O2 oxygen. Okay. Oh, there's an oxygen platform there. Okay. Nothing to shoot there. Are we supposed to do something here? Oh, no. Okay, maybe not. Uh, I perhaps should have read the manual. I'd like to warn you that the game is incomplete and boggy. Hey, no worries. Enrique, I, I assume that you are a student at, a student at the University of Alicante. Uh, but uh, if you'd like to tell me what I'm supposed to be doing, that might be handy, actually. Okay. Oh, what's this? That's something there? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, we'll go left here. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't think we've been to this area before. You've got to keep topping up your oxygen as you go along. Okay. Oh, there's another item to collect. Okay. Oh, there's a picture building bottom right corner. Okay. Um, oh, sorry, I'm hearing noises. Okay. Sorry, I was hearing noises in the house. Um, Abbaset, hey, good night, Abbaset Paneer. Says I'm gonna head off. Uh, the buggers. <laughs> no worries, dude. Take care, man. Rock on. And have an awesome weekend as always. Take care, dude. Uh, Enrique's, uh... Oh, sorry, there was, oh, that was several names in one. You're Enrique Antonio Corres Rodriguez. We're free devs. Right, sorry about that, Enrique. My apologies. Um, you have to collect the police, uh, you have to collect the pieces, he says. There are two pieces per level. You need to gather both pieces to, pro to progress. Right, okay. So I now need, I've got two pieces. I now need to go somewhere with them, right? Oh, that boat? Is that a boat? It's changed. Oh, right, okay, there's the exit. Oh, we've got enemies. We'll leave him alone. He wasn't moving before. Uh, this game reminds me of that. Uh, who remembers Die Alien Slime? Oh, there's a piece there, right? It reminds me a bit of that. Oh, there's a piece as well. Okay. Okay. You know the other pieces over far right. Oxygen. You love Dianian Slime Manor, yes! You know the one I'm talking about then. Uh, we gotta go around the top. Well, he moves about smoothly enough. A uh, nice frame rate. Uh, maybe the shooting mechanic needs to be tweaked a little bit. Needs to be a bit of a delay. You hit the fire button with like the, the bullet shooting out. Alright, I've got two pieces, get some oxygen. I like the concept of the game where you have to top up your oxygen uh, as you go. Okay. Right, level three. Uh, I think they're aliens that are meant to be... T oh, oh my god! Ah! Okay, that's... Yeah. Okay, it's a bit glitchy there. No worries, uh, uh, Enrique. Oh, God. Oxygen's low. Oh. <laughs> My chicken not raw again. 
Oh my goodness. With a free foundation. CPC peeps. I wish you all the best Xmas from the CPC community. Let's all look out for each other. Times are tough. Let's pay it forward if we can. Hashtag sugar gang. Oh, that's some lovely, uh, lovely words there from my chicken not raw. Thank you, dear, for the three pounds. Let's see the uh, my chicken not raws or the chickens or bananas or rustlers or turtles. Rain down in the chat. Let me read out the message again. CBC peeps, I wish you all the best Christmas from the CPC community. Let's all look out for each other. Times are tough. Let's play it forward if we can. Hashtag sugar gang. Wise and lovely words there, my chicken not raw. I agreed. Agreed. Let's all look out for each other as a community. Um, if you guys ever need to chat and all that, remember there's my Discord. Exclamation mark Discord. Uh, the link should appear there. Um, actually, I'll copy and paste the link. If you want to stay in touch with everyone, we are all we are always chatting in the Discord and having private messages as well. Feel free to DM me there as well. If everyone wants to keep in touch and if they're struggling with the lockdown and stuff, uh, you know, joining a Discord like mine or Nova Bugs or Yellow Bellies or Mikey's is a great place to be. Chat to like minded like minded people in a great community. Oh, I died. I took the risk to get that item without any oxygen nearby. Damn, game over and it's straight back to the screen there. <laughs> Alright, I'll give it one more go. Yeah, some nice ideas in the game, Enrique. Uh, it's just a shame, perhaps, that um, you ran out of time uh, to implement it all. Uh, I think that alien's stuck there. I think that alien is supposed to be attacking us, but never mind. You've still achieved getting a game made, which is more than a lot of us could say. So, uh, <laughs> thank you again, my chicken nut raw. You're on absolute legend, legend. Johnny boy says best community ever. Oh, bless you, Johnny. Indeed, because you're part of it as well. Thank you, Johnny. Hey, Tom's mum. A very late joining us there. No worries at all, dude. Welcome, Tom Spum. Ah, uh, I can't seem to hit that alien. Never mind. How you doing, Tom Spum? <laughs> Alright, it's there. Oh, oxygen. Need oxygen soon. I like the idea of the race against time with the oxygen. Maybe, um, Enrique, what you could have done is <clears throat> set this on like a space station or spaceship and um, so then you could have like a grey floor and not such a bright white and grey. It's quite, it's quite garish looking. Um, and you can have more of like an aliens, you know, like uh, alien aliens type theme feel to it, like die alien slime we were talking about earlier. How do we get around here without oxygen running out? Oh, the O2 is at halfway. It's on the orange. Yellow, I mean. Red. Ah! Get off. Oh, that was close. Dead end. Back. Oh, oh no! It's glitched. I can't move my sprite. Oh no! I'm stuck. And I died. I literally couldn't move there. Something weird happened and it, it got stuck to the wall and I couldn't move. Oh, never mind. I 
Oh, okay, Enrique. Uh, we got a version with the windscreen game over and pause, but uh, we were testing it with snapshots, and when we tried to load it from CDT, it wasn't working. I had to commit an earlier version with a lot of bugs. Oh, no. Unlucky, Enrique. Do you know what, though? That has happened to major publishers. Um, it happened with... We believe something like that happened with Rastan on the Amstrad, a big budget, full price release game in 1988. They sent an earlier version of the game to the duplicators, full of bugs. The game crashes after the first boss fight at the end of level 1 2. And it's pretty much corrupt for the rest of the game if you manage to get past that section. So, it happened to Ocean Software as well. So, don't feel too bad, Enrique. You produce this, you should be proud of it. Well done. Okay, all right guys. Well, so well done Enrique. It's nice to have one of the students with us in the chat tonight, it's a little honor. Uh, we've got one more game to go. This one's called Fitzroy Goes Sweeping. And I think I've left this to last because I think I had a brief go at this. Uh, I think this was the only one of the semi-finalists I played because Every year, there's a Fitzroy game from this guy, and some of them have been quite good, but the one last year wasn't so much. But I noticed, I think this was in last place or something to the semi-finalists, so I was like, oh, blimey. And I, I can't work out what the frick you do in this game. I'll show you it briefly. Hey, Jimmy, so it's going to call it night. Thank you so much for your kind messages and words. You should cheer Dame up a bit. Uh, we'll show later on. Have a great weekend, everyone. Much love to see you soon, all great people. Jimmy, the lovely Jimmy, take care, man. Give your Jane a great big hug from me. And I hope you guys get over and the loss of the dog there as well. Really sorry to hear that, mate. But a lot of love to you, and I hope your weekend is okay. And we'll see you soon. Send my love to Jane. All right, mate. You take care. Um, as Anna said there, as I give her a hug from me, yes. Name that comforts me, thank, uh, thanks, thanks a lot for playing that game. Hey, my pleasure! It's much better than any game I have made. Trust me, trust me on that. <laughs> Is this music available anywhere? Yes! Uh, if you look in, if, in the links in the description on the stream, uh, I'll scroll it down, it's right at the bottom actually. Uh, I should really do a, uh, a night block command for this actually. Oh, I've got it just slightly too long to post. Hang on, let me. This is done by. Brilliant. Let me do that, and I'll do a Nightbot command, actually. There you go. Right, music is done by... I'm going to make a Nightbot command, case because a few times, it, do, it does get asked a few times he did the music, and where you can get listen to it and download it. So I've done exclamation mark music command. Let me test that. And it's done by 24-7. He pops in the streams every now and again. He's a really good friend of mine. And all his albums and stuff is on there. There you go, that command works. Fantastic. Cool, cool, cool. You take care, Jimmy. Um, oh, there's another dono. Oh, the music didn't play. Hang on, I'll, I'll replay that. I'll replay it. Don't worry. My chicken, not raw again. Oh, no, hang on. It says my chicken is dodgy. I don't know if that's 464 my can't do scrolling. I'm off to play Harrier Attack. Classic. All right. My exclamation mark, my chicken is not raw. An exclamation mark, chicken's in the chat. I don't know if that is an imposter of my chicken not raw. Or um, it is him, in, him indeed. <laughs> Very good. Oh, it's exclamation, my chicken not raw, isn't it? Oops, I did the wrong thing there. My chicken not raw. 
<laughs> there we go. And also have some dancing sugars. Why not? <laughs> oh, bless you. If that's you, my cheeky not raw, thank you. If it's someone else. Oh my god, we had a nightmare. People are doing all these silly donos with like my Lord Sugar is not raw and my bum is not raw. <laughs> They all remembers that my bum is not raw and my ass is not raw and oh god and bananas yes we can do the bananas in the chat as well um right uh, rebind controls this this is where it gets confusing oh no my chick is horny <laughs> What? <laughs> Exclamation mark chickens in the chat for my chick is horny. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's what? Thank you, my chick is horny. Whoever you were. <laughs> my chick is not raw. Have I got the right Nightbot command for myself there? Yes, I did. <laughs> My chick is not raw. Thank you, um, ho um, horny chick there. Well, there we go. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> All right, up, down, left, right. Ploy or unit mode change? Uh, maybe I should make a note of this. Like, you know, oh, excuse me. Mode change. Uh, space bar. Action or diffuse? Oh, God, why can't we... Oh. Darby better. Oh, another no... <laughs> hang on, hang on. We've had another... My chick is from not. Donated one pound. Darby better. Oh, God. <laughs> hang on. Is it going to replay it? <laughs> nah, not better than not, not better, Darby's not better than not, yeah. <laughs> I love you, my chicken, not raw. But I'm uh, very pleased to be you. better. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Let's see some more exclamation mark chickens in the chat there. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> Legend. Legend. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, unknown chicken. Right. Oh, I'm up my controls up here, aren't I? And I'll load it up again. Um... Such a confu this is such a confusing game. I'm gonna mess up the controls. Um, let's see. Up, oh, right. Up, oh, down, left, right. Ploy or unit chain or unit mode change. No. I'll oh, press D for deploy. Action or diffuse. Let's put it as A. Set target. Right, I'll put that as S for set target. Uh, end turn E. Uh, it's like a, I think this is like a turn based game. Exit with an escape. Right, okay. Normal difficulty. Color mode or green screen mode. Alright, we'll start game. Right. Uh, Thank you for the yes, um, the emote spam there in the chat. Select level wildlife sanctuary, great gated trade lane, cargo rescue trade lane, historical structures, sacrifice mine harbor or escort. All right, I'll just go for the first one, wildlife sanctuary. All right, objectives. <laughs> Shut up. Wow. 
Will he ever play Enterprise? Ten-year-old chicken was so confused. Uh, I'm confused by that. Will he ever play Enterprise? Ten-year-old ch- Oh, I see. As a ten-year-old chicken, you're really confused by the game called Enterprise. I've never heard of that game before. Enterprise. Oh, actually, I think we could- I think we might have brought this up before. Alright, exclamation mark chickens in the chat again. I think that one was my chicken, not raw. Or exclamation mark my chicken. If I can spell it right. <laughs> Thank you again, dude. I, I, I don't think I've ever played Enterprise before. I've just found it on the uh, CPC Power website. God, that's an old, oh God, that's an old game from Melbourne House. Yikes. That one, uh, that looks about as complicated as this one. Oh, Talonscape, look. Wildlife Sanctuary objectives, finish within the time, clear all the mines, keep the turtles safe. Exclamation mark turtles in the chat. We've got the rescue turtles here, apparently. Uh, choose units. Uh, I think what you've got to do is buy soldiers and boats to protect the sank the wildlife or something like that. It, it's just all, it, uh, it's too much for my tiny little mind this time of night. Hey, pal, Park, how you doing? Yeah, 10 years is a long live, long live for a chicken. It is. It is indeed. Oh, what was my controls for this? Like, I'm having to refer to controls and manual a lot and this isn't going well. Uh, press deploy key once done. That's D. Don't press D then. Oh, left, right, right, right. Get to the... oh, hang on. All right, well, let's buy one of these big boats. And I guess you've got to keep your money going over to the next. I don't, I don't, I don't, your money will probably carry it over. Right. Let's buy one of them. We'll buy one of them. And we'll buy one of them. Okay, I see turtles in the water there. Uh, action. Interview. Set target. S. Uh, so I see the turtles. Uh, need to deploy. How do I de deploy something? S to set target. I don't know what's going on here. Is it broken? But the turtles are alive. I was expecting you get like a crosshair and you can move it around the screen and deploy like a boat that we've got. Um, deploy one of our men. Maybe the turtles will start getting attacked by like an alien or something. And if you deploy, I don't know. Say like, for example, this turtle here gets attacked by an alien creature coming down here. So you would like deploy a boat in front of it and then deploy one of your soldiers here to shoot the alien or something. That's what I'm expecting to happen, but nothing, nothing's happening. And I think this is what confused everyone on, on in the CPC retro dev oh well, I press E to end turn okay something's happening near here so we end our turn when the turtles move about but they're not being attacked by anything one of the turtles has buggered off
Oh, 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 oh. I've managed to get something on the screen. Ah. There's keys involved. I don't know. That wasn't at you able. I wasn't described on the title screen. We've got... Okay. Okay. Quite a large plane area, but... I, 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 don't, I don't know what's going on. Got a cross through it, saying I can't... Suggesting I can't... Stream, do. Enterprise. Can you help X? Foe play it. Not oh! today, but add it to your list. My boy Novaberg crashed. I want to know how play this game. It's like a leap but messed up. Oh my goodness, I'll play that again for you. I don't know why the sound alert's not working tonight. Hang on, I'll try it again. Stream Enterprise. Oh, Can you help Hexifo play it? Not today, but add it to my your list. Not my boy Novaberg crashed. I want to know how play this game. It's like a leap but messed up. Oh bless you, my chicken not raw. Oh my god, with the ten quid there. Bloody hell. Holy crap. I'll try that one more time to get the jingle. There you go. Holy crap! Exclamation mark! My chicken not raw in the chat. Oh, exclamation mark! Chickens. What a tool for talent's game. To stream. Stream. Enterprise. Okay. Can you help Hexifo play it? Not today, but add it to your list. Okay. My boy Novaberg crashed. I want to know how play this game. It's like a leap, but messed up. Ugh. So, uh, I am too tired to do... Um, uh, uh, so, yes, one night we'll have a look at Enterprise for you, my chicken not raw. You'll have to let me know when you're next in on an, um, an AM stream and stuff. Maybe we'll do it on a request night. Uh, or just like an anything goes night. Well, we haven't got a set theme. And yes, of course, I'll have a look at Enterprise for you. Uh, I can't sit down now with manuals. I, I'm, I think I need to with this game, and I really, I really can't be asked because <laughs> uh, I have no idea what's going on in this one. Uh, I mean, what are you supposed to do in this game? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, did I miss uh, Crazy Borg having to nip off there? Oh, good night, Crazy Borg. Sorry I missed you there. Have an awesome weekend, Crazy Borg. Thank you again for being here tonight, as always. Take care to the Crazy Borg. Good night, dude. Good night. And, uh, my God, my chicken not raw with another £10 there. Dude, thank you very, very, very much. Well, there you go. Uh, I think I'm done with, um, what was this called? Fitzroy... Uh, go sweeping. I don't understand what's happening. Maybe I should have a quick look at the manual. Go on then. If there is a manual. Oh, I think this is what the problem was. He didn't provide a manual or instructions for the game. Uh, he lost a load of marks for that. So yeah, I did add... Sorry, yes, I did have a look for the manual and there was nothing there. So it's a complete mystery what to do in this. That's a shame. Write a manual. Maybe you ran out of time or something. There you go. I tell you what, my chicken not raw. Let's have a look. See if I've got Enterprise. I will fire all Enterprise now. As we move away from CPC Retro Dev, congratulations and well done all the students who took part in the CPC Retro Dev. It's fantastic stuff you've done. This is the uh, that one we just looked at the Fitzroy game is the only one that was just like completely it appears completely broken and we have no idea what to do. All the others were playable, we had uh, some degree of fun in them at least, and we should be all be very, very proud of them. So well done. And um, we're gonna move away from CPC Retro Dev now. Uh, I don't have 
I don't have the Enterprise game. I'll stick to see if I can get a disc for it. Oh, uh, it's because it was tape only. Right. Oh. Alright, for my chicken not raw, we're, we're going to have a quick look and just play it without reading manuals of Enterprise. Uh, this might be a complete disaster with, like, again, not having a clue what uh, keys to press and all that kind of stuff. But what the hell? Um, it's getting late, and I'm going to have to finish soon uh, anyway. So, even my chicken not raw has been uh, so very, very generous tonight. It's the least we could do to have a look at it for him. Right, found it. There you go. Oh, crap, right? Hey, good night, Mr. Craig Harrison, Craig's Bar. Take care, buddy. Thank you again for your continued support, as always, dude. And have a freaking awesome retro inspired weekend, my friend. Good night, dude. Good night. Um. Hey, Enrique, good night as well, my friends. Congratulations on your game, and uh, well done. You should be very, very proud of yourself. And I hope you go on to a long and successful coding and programming career, if that's what you want to go and do. So good luck, my friends. Thank you, Enrique. Thank you. Um, hey, Odie as well. Good night, the real Odie. Take care, dude, as well. <laughs> And Sakis as well. Good night, Sakis. Well done on your game in the competition as well. Um, and uh, congratulations, dude. And good luck with your future project, Sakis, as well. And have an awesome weekend as well. Right. My chicken not raw. We'll see how it goes. I've no idea what's going to happen. Engines on. This looks nicely presented. What the hell is that? Space fart. Oh, firing up accelerate. Stand by to enter atmosphere. Whoa! Just... Oh! Planet. Oh my god, is that like fractals? Like, um, bloody, um, uh, 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 rescuing fractals? Okay. Gas speed up. What's this ahead? What the hell is this thing? Why is it constantly beeping at me? It's annoying. I don't know what this thing is ahead of us. Is it like a landing strip? Yeah, I think that is. Engage landing gear. in L. That landing gear. Switch off engines. Right, you reckon it's going to be E? Ah! I did it! There's an alien talking to us! Hi there, how are you? A up, me duck. You don't like me, do you? I like you. I don't have to listen to all this, you know. I'd rather be down the pub. 
The aliens give me sass. <laughs> um. So would I get us a pint of Stella and some pork scratchings tarred up. Why don't you try being nice for a change? It sometimes works, you know. <laughs> so we've got to be nice to the alien. That beep is bloody annoying, I know. I know, Rusbergu. <laughs> no, the book crashed. <laughs> uh, how do we be nice to the alien? We're only t we can only talk to him. Stuck up green little... <laughs> Microwave noise, rustlers done! <laughs> Exclamation mark, rustlers. <laughs> um, Alright, all right, I don't know, if we're going to be nice to him, let's, uh, can, I, can I give you a kiss? I can't see the point of myself! <laughs> It does sound like we're in the IC unit. Um, what about a good hard shag? <laughs> Are such questions on your mind often? <laughs> but what if Arnold C. Bodworth were to fall off his bike today? Yeah, and that, that beep is really annoying. I guess it's like, oh look, you got your heart rate. There's a heart rate monitor bottom right. Maybe there might be a way to turn it off. At this, at this is why I got stuck. I was 14. Turn up the beep for Lucas. All right. What? Uh, what if Arnold C. Bob? I don't know. We don't seem to be communicating very well here, do we? No, not really. Oops. Why do you feel the need to say such things to me? Because I love you. What other reasons might there be? <laughs> okay, we're getting nowhere here. Asking my proper name. What uh, a proper question. What is your name? Don't ask me. I just live here. How do you not know your own uh, name? Are you okay? Not always. What about you? <laughs> Ask him about insurance. <laughs> Come on, I'll solve it. Hang on. Alright, let's have a look at the manual quickly. Uh, we'll get a browser capture up so you guys can see what I'm looking at. Right. Right, you are an entrepreneur. Oh, God, it's hurting my eyes. Uh, you're an entrepreneur and have been trying for years to make some money. And it's before you, uh, every turn by short sighted, small minded, blood sucking banks who refuse, despite publicity to the country, to actually part with any money. <laughs> so, your only recourse is to branch out into the new sphere of interplanetary merchant pilot, but despite your obvious capability, you can't get any captured by a spacecraft. Then your in in inimitable style, you decide to steal it. You now face, hang on, how much is this is there to read? Uh, actually, there's not much to read here. Bloody hell. All right, we'll have a quick read. Uh, so, uh, you're now facing a lengthy prison sentence back home, and your only hope is to earn enough money to retire to the paradise planet. 
You must do this by collecting minerals and selling them to the traders on any of the five. Is that a billion? Hang on. So that's a hundred, hundred thousand, a hundred million, a hundred billion, five. Is that five trillion planets? I don't know. But you're logged into your ship's computer. That's quite a big, big game, though. For selling to them, you may also buy food, food, fuel, and insurance from the traders. To get your ship repaired. However, you must be careful who you deal with. Some people are more friendly and more honest than others. The price you receive for your wares will depend on the state of the economy, also the rarity of the minerals on that particular planet. Be sure to keep an eye out for bargains. All right, we'll go to Poundland, the alien Poundland. Most traders offer discount on bulk items, and be careful not to lose your no claims bonus on the insurance. Does he no claims bonus? Despite receiving interest on your money from the from the Ron Nice Nice Guy Credit Agency, the amount of money required to retire arises continuously with the inflation that causes that curses the planet. <clears throat> the interplanetary police are unaware of this insignificant particle of dust in a dingy corner of the galaxy called Earth, and are thus oblivious to your crime. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. Um. Uh, but be warned, they do not suffer likely criminal activity in the area. So, quest so the question of whether or not crime pays in space is up to you to decide. Ask me if the Earth is flat. Ask me about insurance. Okay. You have to ask, do you sell insurance? No joke. Okay. It was quite good until you landed. Tip, take off again. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. And yes, it is Melbourne House. Yes. Ask about this alien car. Ask the alien about the car insurance, and it will sing Sheena's Wheel song. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hang on. Uh, ships can be an inventory damage report. Right, blah blah blah. Claim on your insurance policy. Oh my God! Seriously, insurance policy in the game. Let's take out a policy from one of the aliens. Right, okay. Uh, move the cursor of Jurassic to any point shown on the screen that will win your hydrogen race plan. Right, okay. Train with the enemy. You may tell you anything you wish to the alien. They usually enjoy idle chat and the less help them try to just dis dis digress. But by chatting them, it's possible to ascertain more about the general character and lifestyle which would be useful to you in future dealings. You always use some words you may just climb the upper by pressing empty zero. Use the function keys to recall common useful phrases. For example, if you wish to sell some Class G minerals, it may be done as follows. Player, how much will you give me for Class G minerals? £23 per ton, how many are selling? One for three, that's all right, okay. We'll try in a second. Hang on, as soon as about police here. Then the police will leave you alone if you stay out of trouble. Once you have a criminal record, they can be most irksome. Note that your booster engines damage any nearby vessels, uh, and it is therefore illegal to use them in the proximity of police. Use of the hyper jump rockets will destroy any adjacent craft, so it's important to check your scanners for any hyper jump. Called by the police and found to be given any crime, will be fine. Fine with based on time amount to the blah blah blah. blah. After I've been apprehended, press fire to continue. Right, okay. M for map. Right, let's talk to the alien again then. Use the function keys to recall common useful phrases. Okay. Right, that's bloody alien. F1, how much for repairs is F2, F3 is I have, F4, how much is your fuel, how much food is F5, do you have any, do you want any is F7, F8 gives us how much fuel, F9 is how much do I owe you, right, do you have any insurance then, okay, see if this works Anna, 
Oh! You weren't right, Anna. Yeah, there. <laughs> oh, God. Hang on. Right. Maybe it needs a question mark at the end. I heard you the first time. It's giving me sass. Maybe it's do you want do you, uh, do you sell insurance? Oh yeah, let's try that then. As Anna, Anna did say, do you sell insurance? I'm getting tired of this. I'm seriously considering going down the pop. Ask him if the earth is flat. Oh, God. Uh, I don't know why that isn't working, then. Do you have insurance? Do you... I don't know, then. Do you sell insurance? Do you sell... Yeah, that's what I typed. The most confusing game, I want you all to suffer. <laughs> oh yeah, pubs are close to the lockdown. Just go down the booze and wait for this to all blow over, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Anna says, thanks game for proving me wrong. I'll be sure to find your tape and burn it in the fires of hell. <laughs> um... Let me just have a look on the website. Maybe there's some uh, guides on the CC. I'm going to pause the beeping. Right, pause the beeping. Uh, we've got the manual. Oh, this is just adverts. I'll show you the box art for it, though, guys. There you go. There's the box art for this game. Enterprise from Melbourne House. High precision 3D graphics. Um... Let's see if there's any tips. Uh, oh, it's on a um, spectrum. Maybe they might have a guide on that website. That's a French review. Let's have a look at the spectrum game. It's usually, um, usually pretty similar to the Amstrad version. So let's have a look for you. Basis orchestra. Additional file download. Main instruction. Some pokes. Oh, this was re released on the Mastertronic. Uh, related to the main shop. There's reviewed magazine references. Uh, Sometimes on this website you'll find maps and tips or links to articles from like old Spectrum magazines with uh... Oh there you go, look at, hang on, I'll have to turn off my uh, dark mode on this site. There's some pokes we can put in. Infinite convictions, infinite time, infinite money, specky version. But no walkthrough guides sadly. That's a shame. But there you go, and there's nothing really to go on and find on the internet about this. Um, let's, um, Moby Games has anything about this. Hang on. Bring that back up. Moby Games. Enterprise, the Amstrad CPC. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, there's no uh, additional info about this game. Screenshots, reviews, cover art, releases. <laughs> oh well. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm really tired now. Um, if that's anyone who's got any other ideas on how to get insurance from this alien, well, I might have to. I think I might call the stream in a minute anyway. I'm really tired. <laughs> um. Asking where I could get a takeaway this late. Have you tried the Uber Eats and Deliveroo? Actually, Deliveroo's stopping. I think you're going to have to try Uber Eats, aren't you, Johnny? Compare the alien.com. <laughs> Lucas already said Uber Eats. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
This re-released by Massatronic as they sold one copy to Lucas. I think they sold it to My Chicken Not Raw. Uh, what the chase, please? Oh, God. <laughs> Attack him. I don't think you can. You can just, all you can do is maybe buy stuff from him. Uh, what can we do? How much are you give me for... Hang on. Alright, how much for repairs? Oh, he's actually replying with something useful there. Engines, boosters, fuse large, landing gear, five pounds. Here, cargo bay door. Oh, fuse large is expensive. Ugh. Which would you like? I think if you press type zero. Oh, let's just press nine for whole job. That'll be one eight seven zero pounds. Please type in your name. Right. What? Name Zypho. Rest in peace. Time in service. Ten minutes. Earnings zero. Status dead. Cause of death wiped out by the Ron. Wiped out by the Ron Nice Guy Credit Agency. Fiction zero, presented target attained zero, earnings time ratio, forget it. Comments, abysmal performance. Why did I die? As you are officially registered dead, please adopt a more fine posture. If I'm dead, why is the heart monitor still bloody beeping? Telling me I'm dead, I've got the heart money to go still going beep beep. So you should have flatlined and gone beep. Stupid game. <laughs> you can tell I'm tired and it's 2 at 2 a.m. Well there you go. Anyway. This game needs more attention. Potentially. Potentially. If someone can work out wait uh, some some progress in it. Maybe the alien chopped the head off there. For um, um, asking him to do repairs on me shit, but I didn't have enough money to carry out all the repairs, so they killed us. You bought a self, you bought a crate of self-exploding butt plugs, apparently, going to make it. <laughs> Good lord! All right, guys. Uh, I think I'm. Oh, I think I've got to call it there tonight. I'm getting super, super tired. Um, let me just. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it there. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I ought to. I got. I need. I need to spend more time with the kids tomorrow, especially Minnie's iPhone, because I've been too much getting up late and like I'm waking up at like does eleven o'clock in the morning, and then Little's iPhone he goes for his nap just at twelve. He has a nap for two hours, and then I don't see much of him after that. So yeah, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it there tonight, guys. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in tonight. I'm gonna roll the credits. Hopefully that will work from Streamlabs. Been crap otherwise. Streamlabs tonight. Hey, there we go. Credits coming in. Thank you. It's kind donations from my chicken nut raw. All of them. Ben Nichols again, especially. Uh, Talon Scave, Raspergu, Ruprim, Crazy Bork, Yellowbelly, Mords, myself, Anus of an Ewok, Arnold A. Lampel, Gorka, your fave GP, Claude Rains, Jimmy Taylor, Lewis Waddo, David Jenner, Lego Commando, and Wayne Jordan. Thank you for pine donos tonight. Thank you guys. Thank you very, 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 very much there. Um, 2 a.m. is the new 9 p.m. Zypho. Uh, not tonight it isn't, Johnny boy. I'm pooped. And I think I ought to get to bed earlier tonight for once. But we've had a really, really good stream. We've had jam packed, jam packed full of goodness tonight. I think we've had a nice flow. Target Renegade, Brett, you beat it. 
Um, great interview with the Dreaming Bits guys, and thank you, uh, Alberto and Tulo again. Uh, we got through all the CPC re rest of the CPC retro dev games, and we got a game request in. It was only one game request, but the my chicken not raw. There you go. I think I've good stream tonight. I've enjoyed myself. Hope you guys have too. Have a great weekend, everyone. Um, and Anna, yeah, I think that's pretty much what happened. The bailiffs came and killed you for not having enough money. Pretty much. The loan shark did. Thank you, Anna. Taxi, Powerpuck. Uh, maybe Taxi. Taxi, maybe you can have a look at Enterprise and see what you can work out in it. With your uh, good, logical, strong mind, maybe, you, maybe you'll be good working it out. Uh, Tom's Farm, thank you, uh, Johnny, oh, Johnny Boy, Ben is still here with us, good night Ben, thanks for, thank you again mate, that is insanely kind of you, Ify Stopper, thank you, Rob DeLorean still with us, <laughs> you've been lurking, thank you Rob for being here tonight, Retro and Liam as well, making me laugh tonight, Maud, thank you as well Maud, that was very kind of you too, and uh, good night everyone, um, I should have a video ready for you on Monday, fingers crossed. Patreons, I am sorry you not had an exclusive Patreon video for a couple of weeks now. I endeavour to do something for you this weekend. So, pa Patreons and members of the AM squad, I will try and sort you something this weekend. Uh, other than that, back on Twitch next week. AM stream again next Friday, Marbles on Thursday. Take care, everyone. Have a fantastic weekend. My Chicken Not Raw, thank you for all the donos as well. You're nuts. And I hope you enjoyed the bit of Enterprise there. Take care, everyone. Be safe. Be well. Have an awesome weekend. Bye, Fo out. And see you soon, guys. Goodbye. Bye.